Okay, let's continue on the uh, Fontaine quest. Hey, then I won't have anything more to do other than clear out other little quests for story reading and all that. Also, I just realized something. The fuck? Hold on, I'll fix that in a second. Planter Ride should be coming up soon, right? Everyone must be busy hey. buying things to make their homes more festive now. Hmm. Wonder what this year's theme is going to be. Oh, Paimon can't wait to find out. Let's head to Liyue Harbor and ask around. Oh yeah, isn't there a daily check-in thing? I think that I've still done that. Yeah, I have. Okay. Let me fix this real quick. What the fuck is wrong with this? Well, I guess I gotta move my avatar now. And my trackers are going ham. Lovely. As you're going, I'm gonna do this just so I can see it better from the other camera. As long as my scale got set back. Now it's huge. Hey. You know what I do this for right now? How does that look? Actually, hold on. let me go back to chat. How does that look? If I change to this one. Okay, and you move it over. Look, we're already starting out with issues. Hey. Literally nothing has changed other than me moving my VR headset. Oh, that's really tiny, though. Honestly, it was more like that in terms of scale. Okay. I gotta like how I gotta fix my avatar from the start, right? Okay, now we're good. We're doing this. Recommended. Oh, recommends me to do this. Heh. Nah. Where is it? What does it tell me to do in story quests? Other than Joe Young's. What, did they put a new one in here? I guess this always gonna tell me story quests. Okay. Oh, battle pass. Login. Go to quest. This one! We're doing this. We're doing lantern, right? Why does it look like from a distance? And I just realized I can't see my chat. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, you can see it. Huh. I thought it was a little way. Take a walk around Leeway Harbor. I'm gonna see if I'm a distance first. <laughs> Hey, here we go. Back to this thing again. <laughs> ah, Kachink. Kachink and Charlotte. Hi, I never thought she'd see you two together. Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> Not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Well, yes. And... <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Rite is kites. Kites. Ah, oh, so that's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. Liyue Harbor is always changing. So it is only fitting that Lantern Right should change in turn. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of Liyue. other nations. <laughs> After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. So, Ningguang organized a private meeting with Miss Charlotte to ask for her help in fostering cooperation with the right people. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Plus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. Sounds awesome. Right? I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase from a stall in the harbor. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Cool! Turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just as much as Paimon! Uh, toys? They're not exactly... Toys. You see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time honored cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. But to me, there's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. There's an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. In the past, poets from Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of longing or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. That's the Kuching we know, always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> as long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, 
Whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. What about something... more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun... Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper. Hey, paste there's a it burp. onto the frame <laughs> and tie no on the string. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. Books? Could be a Wait, what are reference. these people doing? That would be a huge help! Great! Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. Hope it goes well. Oh, I gotta click it. Ah! I was just reading on Twitter real quick. Come on, mouse. Keyboard. Perfect! We're gonna take a look around! Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Ah, I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Right. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time oh, that's what we're doing. a special honor along with a secret prize. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. We'll be there. Oh, Paimon was on board the moment you said secret prize. <laughs> then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. You bet! See you then! And then they walk away. <laughs> Wait, Trevor? Take a peek to your right. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Yeah, I see them. Is em. it just Paimon? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? The Kuching mm, do attract a lot of attention. Huh. Well, yes, but something's up. Paimon just has a bad feeling. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Rite. Do they now? Oh, Paimon's <laughs> sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. Foil their plans before they even begin. You go right, Paimon will go left. Wait, Paimon. Paimon, how do we know? It's too early. We don't have any evidence. We don't have any proof. Oi, Paimon. <laughs> I didn't say you could just go wander oh. off. No, did I? It is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Whoa, where did this buddy daddy come from? Yeah, Paimon. You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy. Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you were up to no good. Tell us everything, starting with your name. Should be able to pull uh. it open. One bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. 
For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Hojong. want to hold your tongue, Paimon. <laughs> Don't think that Paimon is going to believe you just because you know her name. Let Paimon guess. You're supposed to be Mountain Shaper, right? Indeed. Mooncarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Jiahu. Ha! Huh. Looks like you did your research. But in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. We'll go straight to the Millilith and have you arrested for impersonating a deaf guy! Preposterous! Utterly preposterous! Perhaps you can prove it? Tell us something that only an Adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. <sighs> During the last Lantern Rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's Supreme Cuisine Machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Uh, did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? One is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. I they might think one bears really no difference from day. Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Forget it. One does not have the breath to waste on such petty trifles. Uh, that might have been more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and I'm sorry for suspecting you. But, uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge, right? As your quality, you take it as a compliment. Have an agile compliment. Mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. Still curious about something. It's just Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but why did you decide to come to the city, Moon Carver? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. <sighs> it, it is but an inevitable, inevitable eventuality. Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move to Liu at Harbor. With Lantern right near at hand. One would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid, Cloud Retainers in this case. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now, it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. Huh. So, you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, 
Do pass along one's regards. Sure, leave it to us. Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern ride. Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. Well then. Uh, I put more dip dye in here. Nothing, huh? All that trouble and it turned out to be people we knew all along. Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stall. Paimon wants to see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. The bigger and prettier, the better. Oh, a burp looking one. I want burp looking one. Oh, welcome. Are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Would you like me to go over the different designs? Ooh, a chicken tail swallow and a butterfly and oh! Ah, oh, this jade chamber design is our newest. It's been selling like crazy over the past two days. Does it also have a unique uh, no. meaning? I can't forget and turn that off. Of course. The jade chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Oh, now that's Paimon's kind of kite. Oh, I burp. apologize for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Oh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, and dyes. All the necessary kite making materials. Wonderful. I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Yilong Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Ride. Paima would love to take a look. Well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? Gaming? Is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? Gaming. Yes. The communications office handles shipments and transports around Liyue. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub-organizations. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families. So, our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. For help. Oh, wonderful. Uh, you will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. Now, at this time of day, Gaming should be somewhere in the vicinity. But just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Should be on your right. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. Hey, we get a discount on kite now. The KVMs are done still work. Thank you. Mouse? Mouse? Thank you. Hey, there he is. Wait, I thought we had an agreement. Loser buys dim sum tomorrow? <laughs> Look at you. Scowl I like dim sum. Scowl much longer <laughs> and your face might stay that way. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. Uh, no way, Gami. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just... Didn't expect you to come from behind to win like that. <laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Perfect. Gaming is here. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Moore. Oh, that must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. You gotta go. Sure. Go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. <laughs> Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. Eh, it wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite making materials. I see, I see. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Ah! And you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Huh? You know us? <laughs> there you probably aren't us? many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Oh, and please excuse Longzhou if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately. Running around from place to place. 
Don't be too hard on him, yeah? No worries. So, you here for Lantern, right? Yep. Hey, it's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elong Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. We'll go together then. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. I can stop and grab a bite when it's time. <laughs> the ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Order anything? Paimon really seems to be drooling already. Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Nope, our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. Wait, what did I hit? Wait, I finished that? Huh. I guess it's not out yet. I see. You know, let's do this one first. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll get distracted. Keep up. Is yeah distractions, right? Heh, I'm gonna finish this. Oh my guess, welcome, welcome. Hey, Winston. Happy lunch and night. Heh. Considering some I don't know, I just wanna get to the event. I run in prepared style of cooking. Cause it's gonna be cooking. Best take it easy. I'm also to try living like that. I'm not interested in food. Get to see Gooba and Zayling pretty much every week and sometimes. Or Nyao Yao brings whoever that is along sees Ali and Gooba and Yeling end up playing together. Wanna well, know Austin awesome work? Da 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 da. Being cured. Da da. Massa, this is important. But how do you plan to do it? Unless these things on the tables are. Bingo, a paper theater. Theater. Paper theater is what I meant to say. Okay. Paper, please. Yes. Okay, I want to get into it now. I see what this event is. Now that's worth paying attention to. Please press the relevant buttons or movement keys to consume movement points. I got this in least met. Eleven can be used three times consecutively. Actually, what are the rewards? Ah, Primo gems. Oh okay, yeah, I have to do this one first. There's a lot. Holy fuck. It can be used three times consecutively. Fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. Collect them. Oh, I see. They did. They passed through marked. Oh. How do I reset? Oh, 
Oh, I got the rewards for the first one. Okay. Let's see, how am I going to do this? Since I got five. One, two, three, four, five. Um... I see. I see. I see how this works. Okay. I figured this out. Okay, I see. I just gotta go back. No, don't exit yet. Cause I can't do the next one yet. I guess I can't do the next one yet. Okay. That's all I can do there for now. Something in here. Oh, yeah, there's something else in there. Hold on, I forgot something. No, I ought to do the other things. Oh, I need this again. Okay, what else? This one. We're doing this one next. I just gotta run over here. My feelings on right. My luck's on fire. Da, 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 da. That's right. Cream of the crop. I'm almost not good at stuff besides eating. <laughs> That's all Paimon is good at. No name people float. There's a pigeon adept as Paimon. <laughs> pigeon turned into an adeptus. Paimon, Paimon will grab onto him and make sure his fall isn't too painful. Paimon can't fly. I mean, Paimon can fly, but I don't think Paimon can do that. Paimon just floats. This Wushu dance. Oh, we're going to do a Wushu dance or something? Bring it on. Hehehehehehe. <laughs> Now Paimon's the Pigeon of Adeptus. Ah, uh, you must come Enjoy for... I'll figure it out. Is this multiplayer? Uh, <laughs> it's multiplayer. Ah, it'd be worth doing. Ah. I'm not getting 6,000 points on this. Okay, let's do this horribly. Let's do this horribly. <laughs> let's go get last place on this. <laughs> Did people leave or join? No, that was people joining. Prepare. I 
I should just select Gaming. <laughs> yeah, that's who I should select. Select as many of the leaf blocks as possible. I'm going this way. Wait, what? Keep up. The only bad thing is I know it's Keep about up. to be in last place with it. Keep up. Oh, I see. That actually kind of helped oh. me. Take it easy. I'm in last place. I need that thing. I see. Keep up. I see. You are? I was last place, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was fun though. How many points did I get on that? One thousand. Of course. I'm pretty sure I was in last place there. I'm like a hundred percent. Or ninety percent sure I was in last place. <laughs> yes. Not yet cleared for first time. I could do more on this then. I should select Gaming for this. Why not? <laughs> Let's select Gaming. And oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, I'm selecting him. <laughs> Actually, that helped me. As soon as I can use E. Stop it now. That helped. I got him at least. I'm in last place again. I'm in last place. Hello, Snowder. How goes it? I don't know if those are working right now. I had to move my character around. 
I see you got your account back. Nice. I didn't hear the sound, so I don't know if it is working. It's supposed to be a sound with it. Mine. Ah. Got your account back. Nice. <laughs> Hello, Phoenix. How goes it? <laughs> these are hard. I can never do these the multiplayer ones. Always come in last place on them. Every single time. Well, that's really good news. You got your account back. Yeet. Yeah, that one should work. Okay, well, I can't do any more of this anyway, I think. Just <laughs> ah. do it! Make <laughs> your dreams come true! I have him already. Um. Ooh. Wait, can I get the, the skin? I don't have Zang Ling, Zang Ling, though. How do you say his name? Can I get him? Oh, I couldn't get him. I have every other character besides, uh, I got him because I wanted to pull for him. Oh, I get to pull for him. Eh, or get him. He's the only character here I don't have. <laughs> that one doesn't unlock yet. This did just come out, so. Uh, for annual intern rate. I think this is a story. If you press a leaf between dry sheets of paper, you can make an attractive and handy bookmark. Oh, I'm in co op mode still. Let me leave co op mode and go back to single player mode. But how goes it for y'all? Actually, let me make sure uh, this one works. I made one of them more fun. It did not update it though. It should work. Hey, it works. <laughs> that should have changed it, didn't it? Because it's weird. It doesn't want to work with Firefox. Let's go fix it real quick. Or the description, I mean. I thought I changed the description back, but apparently not. There's that. I had to make sure that one worked, you know? Wow, so lively! This is how a festival should be! Okay, we're good. Wait, actually, let me uh, bring up the window. If all of us still here, you know, you can do SR on a song, right? The value of knowledge. I do have song request on me now. Terms. Oh, we're going to the new. Oh, this is uh, his region. Ah, this is Gaming's region. The docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. <laughs> Wait, you get behind me. See, I like the plunge. This. Wait, is he the Wait, he's doing healing. What? How do they have him built? Or they have him built with oh crit. Do they have any of these? No. What well, artifact set? Uh, Noblest. 
What weapon do they have on him? Ah, a four-star weapon. Huh. Oh, goodbye, Bennett. No, I don't know. I might keep in it. Mighty mythical beast. Is he healing everyone? Stop Hold on. Now. I need to see if he's healing everyone or not. Yes, do damage to me. Okay. I just need to see if he heals everyone. Okay. Many happy returns. I want to make sure or not if he healed everyone, I'm replacing him with Ben. Hell you. Then I end up using him. Can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. Have you ever heard of wushu dancing? I don't think so. Really? Wushu dancing is famous in Chunyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But what? I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity Yeet. of the Li Yue Opera. <laughs> I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wushu dancing. So it's not <laughs> something I do full time. Huh? You have two jobs? the energy to do all that Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that tiring you just have to take a rest ah paimon gets it so you must sleep a lot then not really just yesterday i stayed up all night playing cards oh another oh. ccg player uh they try and bring that back let's make go. that more popularity just up ahead <laughs> no one plays that anymore I don't know if Kwan Ming only heals, heals himself or heals the other characters. Kwan Ming wants for his sings few words as a boatman near the docks. Next thing you know, he's called for everywhere to head. I can finally read it! It's not forcing me to read it really fast and look over at my stream. And use a stream delay to read it. Ooh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff! And her stomach so empty. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Real is just too hilly. Floating up and down so much. Where's Paimon now? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied and now her poor stomach's empty again. Aw, would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me. That Paimon's always store. hungry. Yes, Paimon will take all you got. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there, or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Paimon never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you, apparently, never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy. And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. God, this one I need to pause. Paimon loves food like everyone should. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think Paimon likes food a little too much, to yeah, be fair. I wasn't done cool. reading that. Ah. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. I, m I clicked my mouse. <laughs> then I. That close of a call, huh? If I do nothing. <sighs> oh. I've been eating I have auto off. What? Since I was a kid. 
You can buy them from all sorts I of have auto off. Whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop. Why the give me an auto button if it's not going to do anything? <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. It's okay. Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter chatter. Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> can be in a good mood anytime she wants. You slowly lose your control of self and be lose yourself and to be a surrounding scenery before you know it. The sight of see that's one of the ones that I get. Ah. Woohoo! We're here. Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft, or you're in for a swim. Let's make Paimon go for a swim. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Look at this perspective. Eh, you look so much bigger to him. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Where are we going? Oh, looks like I'll be walking next to this teleport waypoint anyway. Oh yeah, by the way, elevators don't crush you. You're gonna stand on top of them. Or below them, I mean. They won't do anything to hurt you. Logic, right? Wait a minute, this is like Fontaine water area. What? Let me get the teleport waypoint real quick. But I, I can't dive in this water though. There's nothing in the water anyway. Wait, I got something else in the battle pass? And then it's like a waterfall -y area. <laughs> it goes down deeper. Hello, Arp, how goes it? Oh, wait, there's stuff here. So, you know, oh, this part's higher here. This part's the highest, then it's this, and then it's here. Or maybe that's a bit higher than over here. Fuck. Where's the elevator? Well, we're riding on top of the elevator. Hi, good you. I'm fine myself. Did I get pushed to the roof? Ah! <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> So what if I stand on the very, very top like this when it comes back up? <laughs> as long as it stays upward, I can't move. Because it moves down, it's not a permanent stuck. And you don't have to teleport out. <laughs> hey, look, we're floating. Yeah, I can't move. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I managed to go through that. Um, okay. I don't know what those 
things do. <laughs> Fuck, I fell down again! Ah! Okay, caught myself. Oh, I'm in this area. But the elevator doesn't stop here. Are you supposed to go back up? From the elevator. Because I don't think you are, are you? Ah, fuck. Hey, I'm on the elevator. I went to the side. Okay. Instead of messing around, I'm going to continue the quest now. Hey, look, there's a waterfall there. Okay. I guess you just sort of have to run off. For the other thing. So, this goes all the way across here, I guess. Yeah. I guess the mountain land or whatever just holds the water in. I'm just looking at this area because now I haven't unlocked this teleport waypoint over this way. Oh, there's more over there. Wait, what? <laughs> That's Seely over here. That's just mining stuff. Hey, actually, there is a thing for mining in the battle pass thing. Oh yeah, if you say her arp has gone mean any good, I know he's plunged. I know he does healing, but I don't know if he does healing to everyone or if he just does healing to himself. So you get this. Why not? I'm right next to it. Spirit carp. Whatever that is. Oh, loot. I did not pick that up. Now I did. I'll sell all your acorns as I go along. Wealth is the foundation on which civilization is built. Oh, there's a chest there. I'm just spamming E as I walk along. Hey, there's a teleport waypoint. Let's go get that. Did I walk? I walked past that one. I really walked past it. It's down here, there it is. Until I run out of stamina. Then we're plunging. Hmm. And I get Primo Gems. Okay, now we're going for this one. Which is behind me. Okay. Probably messing around a bit, right? Heh. <laughs> That's probably up there, isn't it? Um, maybe. What's this thing? From 
happens if I shoot it? Investigate. Hey, that was worth investigating. It's above me. Fuck, I was going great by doing that. This looks like a ledge. No, I need a rest. Fuck. Fuck. I don't want to fall down. Fuck. Down down here. This is the best way to go up here. This way, I guess. Okay. I should be able to make this. At least to here. Okay. How high is this teleport waypoint? All the way up there. Him. This teleport waypoint is way up here. Well, I still got more climbing before I get to it. No. Okay, good. Actually... We'll go over here now, to it. Yes, now we're going to this thing. We're continuing the Lantern Right quests. It's a lot of events though. Oh, little things, as there always is. Okay. Hey, there's a fish right here. Hey, I slow down. I'm begging you. What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? When drinking too, one should sing a moral response. Okay. Oh, well, uh, how should I put it? Come on, spit it out! Do you see that group of people over there? No. Those are my relatives. Wow, you sure have a big family. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. <sighs> They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless... Oh, did you do something horrible to them? No, it's not that. I'm just... not that good at dealing with my family. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but... right now, we've got a job to do. We'll just have to sneak... then we'll have to sneak you past them. Hey, it's a snitch and a stuff. Looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Slow and steady wins the race. Oi. Stick close, traveler. Uh-oh. We've been spotted. Uh-oh. Ha <laughs> ha. It's coming. Well, the quiet gaming's meme is rather than concerned from all directions. <laughs> Gaming, when did you get here? Oh, <laughs> you've lost even more weight. How long are you planning on staying this time? How's work been? It sounds tough. The last Oops. time I spoke with your dad, he couldn't stop talking about you. He seems... Uh... <laughs> As much talk you finally from the Gaming's relatives. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Buy three boxes. 
I want to pick this up. Don't miss out on our buy three boxes. There we go. Uh, sorry, they mean well, it's just... Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Let's get these things delivered first. It's yeah, let's okay. get these things We're delivered first. We're ready to talk about it. We'll be ready to listen. Hey, Uncle Drigway. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? <laughs> yes, thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgway. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Dim sum! Uh, <laughs> you notice what Paimon likes? How long have you two known Gami? Oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yulong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends, you know, just like that. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort, really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. He said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but, well, ask anyone else. And... Uncle Yongzan says that he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Ah, it feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite-making materials, though. It could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Wright. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. The refreshment room on Ling I oh, can't read it. It goes away too long. To. Ooh, too are soon. you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. They put that in his trailer. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Good. Paimon never says no to free food. See you at the kiosk All thing right, then. then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. Anyway, is Gaming's family situation really that complicated? He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Hmm, how should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. I'll try. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in space. No. Couldn't hurt nah. to advertise our services, right? Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? I'm almost just joking. But if you're going <laughs> to get look, a we're looking at I'm you like, really? have winter melon cake instead. <laughs> Uh, seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. No thanks. We came all this way and still haven't gotten a chance to look around the wharf. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Leo at Harbor. 
That's not a bad All idea, right, apparently. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Okay. Now we're going to head to the wharf thing. Walk around. Oh, this is interesting. That's the reset button. Hey! What are you doing here? Fuck, 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 fuck. I dropped it. Huh. The way you speak. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Greetings. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? I want to find good fox next to you. Ah! Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? And what of it? The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver told us, or Tia something and Ho. Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. Tian Yun? Huh. Does she forget about them? Huh. It appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. Uh, sure? Hi! Wait, here? You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your stuff? Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. Let me go see what she's up to. Hey, not you too, Traveler! Oh, all this time on ditching is super not appreciated. Ugh. Okay, Paimon. Paimon doesn't want anyone to try and steal the stuff. That's why you're there, Welcome. Paimon. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern ride promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. Hmm. 20% off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. Then four shall suffice. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I could interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon He's gives quite a festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. Hmm, ten boxes. Seems rather excessive. But if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's disciples... Hmm... Ten. Nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. That is agreeable. One will, um, I will have these boxed up then. Of course, of course. Right away. Ah. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. 
Perhaps some of my wares might off. also be of interest to you. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy here. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. Hmm. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. Did she spot us? It, there is no need for that. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. Ah, oh, of course. Here you go. The instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, a child's plaything, no less, it would only invite scandal. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. I should head back before she notices. Oh, Shinyan! Did your shopping go smoothly? <sighs> Naturally. One may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks said faculties. Seems like Zen is easily swayed into buying things. That box looks and you fit too. to burst already. Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf, but it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition then? Also? Um, one means to say, you along with all the other youths. One has been entreated to share one's kite making expertise, and indeed there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests, and thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Oh, who will be participating then? Shuyu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. Wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xinyun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. Ha! Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? Ugh, <sighs> just nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? Seems interesting. Right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount Altsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Now we're gonna have are to wait, aren't we? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? One calls it the floating toting device. Floating toting device. 
have all the names yeah. I can pick. She seems pretty proud of that one. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident, but everyone around her is looking at her all funny. I don't wonder is... Uh, never mind. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just, uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Ah, uh, what will I do about you, Paimon? What Paimon say is that Shenyun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? Paimon bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. That does sound like something she would do. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself when it comes to an elder, right? Part two of it. Is that it for now? I guess so. Not that one. I meant this. Let's go do this really, really, really badly. I'm gonna go try to grind this out a little bit more. <laughs> so I don't think... I can't get a really high score though on it. Ah. I'm gonna try anyway. Not yet cleared. Complete race to the top for the first time. Alright, complete race to... Oh, I see. You have reached the maximum points. Oh, well, I can't do... It's not worth doing right now, anyway. Well then. I can't do it right now. Well, I could do it, but it wouldn't be worth me doing right now. Ah, this thing. I bet it's gonna be, uh, gumming dancing, isn't it? There's yellow, yellow, not yellow, yellow. Uh, Yo Mia here? <laughs> Alright. Hey, where'd you go? I want your fireworks. No fireworks, fuck. I want your, uh, what you might call it? I want to navigate to it. I don't want to teleport to it. Oh, it's right here. Add Astro. Thank you for coming. Add Astro. You know what? Hold on. Claim. Claim. I want to see something. 
Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. I was seeing if he's going to give a bonus or not. Okay. How many Primo Gems do I have right now? I have one here. I mean... I can't hit the right button right now, can I? My brain's not working. Anyway. I mean, I don't really need either. Right now. I have like 50 pity right now, so. And I need, uh, let's see. If my phone lets me type my password, thank you, phone. Let's see. I think that's 32 minus 1224. So I need 1,976 Primo Gems. At least to have 70 pity. You know, no pity. Not even um, one of these will get you it. Oh yeah, the new character thing. The Fontaine one. Wait. Oh, that's the default one in that. To be fair, this one does look good. Oh, I already own it. Oh, because I gave another one, I think. I know it was a, a special thing. I don't know. Wait, didn't it, uh, what's his name have one? Zinker or whatever? Hey, I can buy one. Heh, <laughs> I can buy one. Hey, look. It resets in a month, basically. Yeah. I'll do that, but I'm not going to wish right now. I'm not pulling right now. Hey, I should pull in a weapon banner. I'm only going to get 4 star though. I'm not going to get a 5 star. Even then. Neither one of these are going to be useful to me. So yeah, I'm not pulling this banner. I pulled for, uh, where is he? I pulled for him, but it's because I wanted him. <laughs> I just want to, uh, you know, I put Barbara. Ready to rumble. Let's see, Cho Young. Time for some training. There we go. <laughs> That's not a very good team, is it? Affected by a Quiro for forty percent less. I wanna make a plunge team uh well, I mean kinda of plunge, but no, I want freeze melt. Hmm. 
Okay, so. Quest. You know, does Zal have one here? Does Zal have one here? Uh, does Zal not have one? Or have I done it or something? Hold on. Have I done Zal's quest? Eat. Uh, where is it? This? Traveler. Come on, I'm a one to have a look too. Hiya, huh? So he Wait. Don't worry about it. Well, all right. <laughs> Do I have to? Well, all right. You don't have to worry. Go into great detail. Well, all right. Wait, it saves us. It saves the prompts too. See you around. And apparently so. Apparently so. I guess it doesn't change it. That's a lot of stuff it's going through. Alright then, let's have our farewell- Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? I believe we'll make it just in time for dinner- But still, let me thank you again for defending me to the end. Wait. Oh, this is short. Oh, it doesn't go to the next time. Oh, it does. I just want to clear through this. You know, we gotta get to the very bottom, right? Make it scroll. Hey. Okay. There's that. Oh no, here it is. Does Zalma have one or did- Oh, wait, what? I've done Zal's? Is it just Paimon, or is there something weird about those hilly trails over there? I don't remember doing Dallas. Paimon thinks so too. We've seen plenty of hilly trails before. One sees. One too shall introduce one. Oh, I remember now. For I remember good this person. To this person. Descended from one's mouth. It's you. I remember. I remember doing this one now. Okay. That was a long time ago. That's why I didn't remember doing it. Geography. I got a few. There's three more mons that. Some more. There's a lot in Leiwe. Then again, they added new area to it. There's more there. How about Samara? Ah, there's a little bit. There's a decent bit more in Samara. Okay. And bad. In the end. Um. Yeah, let's go do Goros. Be placed upon the scales. Come, come and see these rare and precious curios. What? Can I buy one? I can't buy one? Okay, fine. I can't believe the well got polluted. Die then. Oh, you sound the kite? What do you have to sell? 
Oh, what's this? An instrument. Uh, sure. Oh. Hey, is this a firework? Oh, it is a firework. Ah! I want to use it though. I want to equip this. Let's badly play this. Music! get where I can I can't play it on here because I'm not a keyboard layout hey it's music <laughs> Feedback up. <laughs> Here we go. Music. <laughs> okay. here here's how to play music really badly That's the copyright thing. Yeah, because when I... Hey, look. It's totally copyrighted, right? <laughs> okay. Keep up. Okay. Wait, what? What did I interact with? Missing person poster. Ah, helium switch. Why not keep your um. seasonal gifts and scents of spring? I promise it will be Okay. If you press a leaf between dry sheets of paper, you can make an attractive and handy bookmark. All right, now I'm good. Okay. Okay, let's go do Goru's quest.
It's a hangout quest. Let's start it. <laughs> I need to go to an Azuma though. How far is it from here? Only 5,000 meters. Watsusumi Island? Huh? Really? Surprising. I'm surprised it's not on Watsusumi Island. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that. But do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The <laughs> desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? W wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? <laughs> in fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. Ugh. I'm trapped. How do I get out of this? <laughs> Don't bully Goro. Oh my goodness. Please save me. I oh. hit the other one. And how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful <laughs> tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? Uh, I gotta. Hey, <laughs> not you too. <laughs> I um, pick both. Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tail is? Uh, pardon me, Lady Gucci. We have completed the matter you instructed us about <laughs> previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right. I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. Yeah, Miko in the uh, publishing house walks away. There was away. definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. The, uh, Miko, do you know Yamiko well? Uh, I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically... Something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. It's okay, let's just <sighs> ignore her. You're right. I've heard Her Excellency say the same thing before. In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as I don't come into contact with Yai Miko, everything should be fine. Let's steer clear of the uh, Nico Publishing House for now, then. Okay, whatever you think's best. Let's avoid Yai Publishing House for now. Actually, there's something else I have to sort out while I'm on Narukami Island. It's a personal matter. Back when we were fighting the Shogun's army at Nazuchi Beach, I had a box with me that contained some very important items. The odds were stacked against us that day, and the resistance was forced to retreat. 
I had to abandon the box, but I managed to quickly bury it first. I went back to collect it on this trip, but it turned out someone had already dug it up. So I asked around the area, and the locals said that apparently the Adventurous Guild had beaten me to it. That box is very important to me. I have to get it back from the Adventurous Guild. Would you mind coming along? No problem. Thank you so much. Let's head right over. Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. So, yeah, it's important, right? So let's do it right here. Hey, <laughs> hey. Keep up. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Catherine. You can tell Catherine about how Gore is looking for the box he buried. Hmm. I'm afraid that will be a little difficult. Why? What Don't has happened? Worry. The item you are looking for is safe and sound. However, I'm unable to return it to you at present. The reason being, it is connected to a case involving the treasure hoarders, which is still under investigation. That's strange. I buried that box there. What does it have to do with the treasure hoarders? Allow me to explain. Not long ago, we received a commission concerning a theft by treasure hoarders at Kamore Tea House. The adventurer who accepted the commission followed their trail and heard that they had buried the treasure at Nazuchi Beach. But when we went to dig up the stolen items, we found many other things buried there along with them. As such, we cannot ascertain which of the items have to do with the treasure hoarders at this stage. For now, all we can do is hold all related items at the Adventurers Guild until such a time as we have caught the group of treasure hoarders in question. Then, we will see that all items are returned to their rightful owners. Hmm, I see. I never expected that other people would be burying things in the same place. Well, since these are the rules, I won't press you for it. But might I ask how the investigation is coming along? This is where the difficulty arises. To date, we have still not been able to locate the hiding place of the treasure hoarders. So I'm afraid it still could take some time. So there's no knowing when this will be resolved. Maybe I could help. I could find the treasure hoarders for you, and once you confirm everything is in order, you'll be able to return my box to me. It's very important to me, so the sooner I get it back, the better. That is... perfectly acceptable. However, many adventurers have investigated this case recently. They have searched far and wide, but their efforts have been fruitless. If the two of you are still interested in taking the case, you may have to devise an original approach. Let's head there then. Yes, it seems like the only sensible place to start. With any luck, we might be able to find some clues there. Uh, well, actually, since it's come up, what's the Komori Tea House like? A place to have well, tea. Obviously. <laughs> anyway, let's just go take a look. Okay. Keep up. Where are we going? Oh, this way. Well, obviously, a place to have tea. What you asked what it is? It's a place to have tea. <laughs> Are you here to investigate the recent theft as well? We're grateful for the assistance. However, I'm afraid I don't have any more clues. It was Tarumaru's number two reserve fund that they stole. They struck late at night while there was no one in the surrounding area, so they could slip in unnoticed. By the time we realized, it was too late. They left enough clues for us to retrieve the box, but we found no trace of the group of treasure hoarders who dared to target our tea house. <sighs> I've asked around many times, and there were no eyewitnesses at all. We're definitely dealing with experienced crooks here. Oh, Taramaru, what are you doing out here? How strange. I don't know what's gotten into Tarumaru today. He says he knows where the treasure hoarders are hiding. You understand him? Does that mean you're uh, a... <laughs> how can I describe it? It's like listening to a regional dialect. 
A lot of it goes over my head, but I can still get the general gist. Anyway, he says he was there at the scene of the crime. The treasure hoarders didn't see Tarumaru as a threat, so he stayed and listened in on their whole conversation. Since there were so many of them and they were armed, Tarumaru didn't dare to bark loudly, so he just had to let them go. Oh, no wonder. Poor boy. He's been acting more anxious than usual lately and is always looking outside. And I thought he just wanted someone to take him for a walk. Ah, yes. That does sound like quite a predicament. Ah, okay. I think I understand now. I don't. Tarumaro says he heard the treasure hoarders conspiring to hide out at the beach directly below Tenshikaku. No one usually thinks to look there, and it's become something of a safe haven for treasure hoarders. He also mentioned that there were a gang of five people. The leader's name is Kosuke, and the second in command is called Yasuhisa. The leader's scent indicated he was probably from the Narukami Island area, while the two newcomers in the team were more likely from somewhere else. You got all that? Thank you, Tarumaru. It must have been hard for you, knowing the details of the crime but not being able to communicate them. Don't you worry. We'll take care of everything from here. We will definitely get your belongings back. Let's go there in person. We might not have any troops with us, but between the two of us, we should be able to deal with a handful of petty thieves. Yeah, hold on, I want to say something. I still have multiple options based on what I pick. I see. There's five endings. One, two, three, four. Okay, one in the fifth ending. I'll continue on this one. I'll continue on this one. Keep up. Oh, is it under here? Is that where it really is? Seems like it is down here. Oh then. Shh. I think we're getting close. There's danger in the air. And something doesn't smell right. Be careful. I had to feed them. Coming at ya! This is bizarre. How would anyone think to look here? Uh, boss, didn't you say that the most dangerous place is the safest place to hide? Yeah, and I still maintain that I'm right in principle. Think how many days we've been here. No one else has come looking for us, have they? Can't believe we got caught. Just when the whole thing had nearly blown over. Hey, kid, who the heck are you guys anyway? There's some people fighting for justice in Inazuma. Life is tough in the resistance, but none of our troops would ever think about laying a hand on the innocent civilians under their rule. You have things so much better here, and this is how you choose to live your life? It's pure selfishness. We should turn them over to the Adventurers Guild right away. Once their identities are confirmed, they'll get the punishment they deserve. Please, show a little mercy. We'll give you half of everything we've saved up over the years. If you're willing to turn a blind eye on this, anything's up for negotiation. That's enough. Tie them up and take them away. Yes. Oh, uh, <laughs> come to think of it, this is not a military camp, so there's no need for me to be so heavy-handed. But thieves still have to be punished. Let's escort them back. We're escorting back to the Adventurers Guild. Okay, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Huh. 
Ok. I am pleased to confirm that these are indeed the individuals who stole from Kamari Tea House. I didn't expect you to catch them so quickly, especially with no new leads to explore. In accordance with the rules, now that we have procured an oral confession from the treasure hoarders and verified the list of stolen items, we can now return the box to you. Here, please take it. Oh, thank goodness. Are you gonna open and take well, a look? Let me think. The contents of the box don't belong here. They belong on Watatsumi Island. So let's head there now and open it. What's that sim? I was going this way towards it. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is the one of a million. Wait a minute. Is this the world quest I want? Hold on. Is this the quest I've been wanting? Uh. Oh no, it's not, but... Oh, and I want it should be over here, but it's not. I want you to give it to me. Why won't you give it to me? You are? Can you tell me more? <laughs> give me the thing. <laughs> to be able to go into the portal. They're both about the same distance apart, it seems. Okay. I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. And I rotate it again. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay. I'll just reactivate it going that way then. I'll have to just walk over this way. Lovely. Okay. One, two, three. Yes, it looks like they're all here. What are these? Some personal items that once belonged to the troops under my command. Water bottles. Towels, knee guards, just everyday items, but each one bears the handwritten name of its former owner. These were the only things those soldiers had for their families to remember them by. We all knew going into that battle that the odds of survival were slim. Many of the soldiers came to me and said they wanted to leave something behind as a keepsake for their loved ones. You see, their swords and pole arms broke in battle. Their damaged armor wouldn't have been easy to carry. And many of them couldn't write very well, so they couldn't even leave a letter. In the end, all they could leave to their families were these ordinary items. <laughs> artifacts of their daily lives. Cora. My soldiers trusted me, <laughs> but I failed to lead them to victory that day. Then they trusted me with these. And instead of honoring their last wishes right away, I had to hastily bury them in the sand. Every time something like this happens... I tell myself that by the next time I'm faced with the same situation, I have to be stronger. We got the box back. It's better yeah. now. But right now, let me just mourn them for a little while longer. Hey, we got one inning. Continue from here. Okay. Next, I need to pick the other one. Oh, 
I need to stare at you, Amiko. Oh no, we go to the publishing house here. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. The uh, uh, Yamiko, I've well. interacted with her a few. I've never been good at. I could probably deal with her in back. Why well, not? I hope you overcome really? this weakness. That would be great. To be honest, this is something that's always worried me. If the soldiers ever saw me in this kind of embarrassing situation, they'd be very disappointed. So, I have to overcome it, for their sake. As soon as I've worked through this, let's go take on Yaimiko again. <sighs> first things first, though. Do you have any ideas on where to begin? Uh, we can start with some theoretical study. I can act as a personality I find difficult to I deal see. with. So if you pretend to be someone like her, I can keep practicing on you. If I can get the better of you, then I'll be able to hold my own when similar situations come up in the future. Good plan. Let's see. Where should we start? Have you found yourself in scenarios mm, like this before? Now that you mention it, I remember having a similar experience back on Watatsumi Island. I was with my subordinates at the time. We ran into a merchant, I got caught up talking to them, and I don't quite know what happened, but I ended up buying a lot of things from them. Then I'll pretend to be a merchant. I think we can give it a try. There's an island called Rito nearby. Why don't we go there? I heard all the Outlander merchants are based there, so it might help to create the right atmosphere. Okay. Let's go then. So this is Rito. Although it looks slightly gloomy, it feels very peaceful here. I don't see any Tenryo Commission soldiers roaming the streets. What a nice place. Okay, let's get started. I'll be me, and you be a shrewd and savvy businesswoman. Oh, it's you. You came all this way to me, see Hi. me. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> so, a, a lot of the soldiers have been complaining about a shortage of blankets recently. So, uh, ten blankets, please? Twenty K more. Okay. I'll settle the check right away. That's it, the just like that. Pretty cheap to me. In which case, no need to haggle, right? Twenty two hundred K then. Too bad. <laughs> Is that supposed to be really expensive? Uh, I'm sorry. In the past, Her Excellency has always handled procurement of military supplies. <laughs> I don't know the specific prices of these items, so I never really know how to respond. Uh, this won't get us anywhere. I have to haggle to give you the chance to use your wily tricks on me. What do we do now? That's such a something you're more interested something in. Something I'm more interested in? Hmm. Maybe, um, cake? A hundred K more for a That's slice so of cake. That's so expensive. I know what a fair price is when it comes to cake. If you can do one little Wait thing for me. If you think about this from another angle, a cake that costs 100,000 <laughs> more per slice must be so much better than a regular cake. <laughs> Let me see. I've been saving up recently. I think I should have enough. Hold on. So, there isn't really a kind of cake that costs 100,000 more per slice? I don't know. <sighs> what a shame. I feel like role-playing as a vendor is a little outside our area of expertise. What kind of person do we both see regularly enough to impersonate convincingly? I think I met a Fatui the right type Fatui? of person. Eh? Then it looks like a trip into the wild is in order. Let's go give it a try. Let's go, give it a try. Did he do this? <laughs> Where are we going? There really isn't a teleport waypoint over here. Wait. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to glide over here too much. Okay, well we'll just walk over here then. That's what we shall do. Uh. I've 
dealt with Fatui before, but I always end up against those big, stocky guys who are much taller than me. I'm sure I must train just as hard as they do every day, but somehow I still don't have the muscles to show for it. I can't wait right? to see that. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, I need to look more muscular than my subordinates. I know that people's trust in me has nothing to do with my size, but if I were taller and bulkier, they'd be able to identify me from behind more easily when charging into battle. That way, our forces wouldn't scatter so easily. As long as I was on the field, they'd be able to follow me. But enough of that. Let's get back to it. Who are you going to roleplay as this time? Are you here to play what? with me? I smell danger! Looks like I was really? pretty convincing. Huh. For a moment there, I could have sworn the actual Fatui were right here. No, wait. Behind you! It wasn't my imagination. They really are here. Prepare to engage! Oh, okay. Follow my lead. Charge! <laughs> but I already got Geo. Coming at you. Is there a healer? No. Okay, you're the annoying one, though. Oh wait, you like, I'll defeat you in Navi as well. That's the way. Coming at ya. Watch up. Can't oh. keep up. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> Everyone on me. <laughs> now you got Geo. Let me heal. Fuck. Hey there! Watch out! Can't see? Watch out! Let's light it up! Die. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Die. Why do they never fuck, miss? Fuck, 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 fuck. Fall in! Rally! Who oh, could it break? Fuck you! Curse. And Shroud! <laughs> hey there! Surrender! You're the annoying one. I hear everything. <laughs> Can't see? Ta keep up. Is it just you? Yeah. Okay. Adventure time. Benny's adventure team. Fuck. The fire I killed him. Failed you. <laughs> A proper send off from the steep. Shroud! Surrender! <laughs> hey there! Come Advance! Press the advantage! <laughs> Can't see? You're annoying to deal with, but I can kill you. I will kill you like this.
forget which one is food, but if I clearly look, it tells me which one is food. Oh, five-star food. I need to make more healing food. Oh, wait, egg. Oh, that's all gone. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oi. Watch out. A proper send off from this and shroud. I need to kill you. Let's light it up. Wait. Yeah. One with the forest. Keep up. I'm trying to see who to kill. Okay, yeah, it is you. I see through you. Don't worry. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> hey there. Stop killing Vinny. I'm not used to pressing five. Charge. Okay, now I'm good. Yeah, everybody stand back. Coming at ya. Oops, can't see. Coming at ya. A proper send off from the Spina with. Let's light it up. Coming at ya. Press the advantage. Now you will die. Fall in. Do you actually do damage or you do? I'll defeat you like this. Charge! Everyone on me! I'm going in! Attack! Watch out! One with the forest. I'll defeat you with the Navia's ult. There we go. It's all fun and games until the real Fatui show up, huh? <sighs> that little interruption has really ruined the mood for me. Let's not do any more Fatui impressions for today. It seems in poor taste after the trouble they caused in Watatsumi Island anyway. Do we have any other options? There's only one thing for uh, it. What do you mean? I'll intimidate the person <gasps> you fear the most. <laughs> Is this too fast? Your Excellency advocates slow and steady progress in all things, and cautions against trying to advance too quickly. <laughs> to clarify, it's not that I'm scared. It's just that I don't know if the time is right. Be brave and uh, give it a try. I guess you're right. Thanks for your encouragement. It's not like me to shy away from a challenge like this. Let's do it. Time for a make or break training exercise. We're going back to Inazuma itself. And we're back. Ready? Don't worry. My head's in the game this time. I am a high-ranking military officer of Watatsumi Island and the general of the resistance. Whatever tricks you've got up your sleeve, you're not going to get to me. So bring it on. How adorable. <laughs> this feels like... Let's see that gorgeous tail. Yes, it definitely feels like... Yeah, Miko. Uh, no. Huh? It's, not, it's not that you do a bad impression of her. More like, <laughs> something is missing. I finally realized it when you were talking to me just now. I think that maybe what I'm really afraid of is her knowing smile and her piercing gaze. Uh, it just 
makes me feel like all my <laughs> secrets have nowhere to hide. Like she can just peer in and see them. But <laughs> it's different with you. I trust you, so I don't feel I need to hide my secrets in the first place. Even when you're imitating the way she speaks, I don't feel afraid. Because we fought side by side in the past, and I know I don't have to have my guard up around you. That makes sense. <sighs> but it also means that this training won't work. I just have to accept that this is a weakness of mine, as much as it pains me to do so. The thought of having to live with this weakness forever is frustrating. Why don't we go buy some cake? Are you serious? I'd love that. I haven't eaten anything sweet in a long time. Off we go. Let's go buy some cake. The cake is a lie, Goro. The cake is a lie. <laughs> All right. The next step is to find somewhere nice and quiet. Go to a quiet spot. This is a quiet spot. Mm, mm, this is so good. You don't get to eat cake very often. <laughs> it's certainly a rarity in the camp. It's seen as a luxury item in the ranks of the resistance. We have special meals on occasion, but even then it usually means meat and wine, not dessert. So, thank you for treating me to some cake. The only downside with Narukami Island's pastries is that they're such exquisite things, you can't just chow down on them. But, as Her Excellency says, a general needs to show patience and restraint. Wanna try my cake? Wow, uh, don't mind if I do. Oh. Yo. <laughs> mm, so sweet. Hey, look, there's that one. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's rewards for it. Oh yeah, I got two endings now. Suppose it does the other option doesn't matter then. Okay. Continue from here. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's all part of the learning process. <laughs> this really is him getting over how to deal with a girl. It really, really is all this is. Yeah. There was definitely something strange about the way. Sorry that you had. Since Watsatsu, I also wanted to come and see what things are like. <sighs> I'm gonna go been, back I further. Probably deal really? To be honest, so as soon as I work. <sighs> we can start with some theoretical Good study. Plan. Start by studying some theory, address the fear at its root, and then I'll have nothing to be afraid of. But where would I go to learn about this? I wouldn't know anyone on Narukami Island. Oh, let's go back to Watatsumi Island and ask around there. Which one am I on? Oh, I'm on the top one. Okay. I'm gonna go through and collect all the options. Not just this one. Is this Kokomi's place? Whew. <laughs> I feel more at ease on Watatsumi Island. I had an idea on the way here. Many of my army comrades are older than me, and I'm sure that handling this kind of situation must be second nature to them by now. So I thought we could go ask them for advice. But I can't just go to them and say, hey, I'm no good at this. So instead, I'm going to go with a cover story that I'm asking for a friend. I see. So you're saying that you're... 
<laughs> uh, your friend, sorry, is having some trouble with a certain someone who has an intense personality. Uh, it, yes. <clears throat> so I'm here on my friend's behalf to ask you for advice on a coping strategy. Hmm. Based on my experience, the easiest way to deal with people like that is just go through the motions. What's the logic behind that? Uh, well, you see, General Goru, I... <laughs> General Goru's friend, I mean, always listens intently when other people are talking and takes them very seriously. No matter who the other person is, General Goro's friend treats them all equally. Which, don't get me wrong, is something I admire very much. But the other side of the coin is that it makes General Goro's friend very susceptible to falling for the other party's verbal traps and being led by the nose. Now, if something like that is bothering you, your best bet is simply to not give the other party your full, undivided attention. Don't hang on their every word, and when they ask a difficult question, just gloss over it. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Ah, so that's how it's done. <laughs> well, it's something to try. Whether it'll actually work in this case is a different question. Going through the motions is a skill that everyone has to get the hang of as they get older. I'm guessing General Goro's friend is on the younger side. Well, on my friend's behalf, thank you for your advice. Ah, don't mention it. Oh, yes, I heard that Miwa from Songonomiya Shrine is also in the area. Why don't you ask her for advice, too? She's supposed to be good with interpersonal stuff. It can't hurt to get another perspective. Makes sense. All right, let's see what Miwa has to say. Oh, no, I'm going to talk to her. Most people who wish to have an audience with Her Excellency usually start by presenting their name cards and official documents to Miwa, <laughs> who then passes them along. So I'm sure Miwa has lots of experience dealing with all kinds of people. General Goro, and the captain of Swordfish too. What are you doing here? We wanted to ask you about something. You tell Miwa about the jam you're in. I see. So General Goro's friend wants to overcome his weakness, right? Uh, that's right. Do you have any advice? Hmm. Let me think. My advice would be to hide what you are really thinking. Hide your Cast thoughts? Cast your minds back. Why do you think Yai Miko was able to tease General Goro's friend and not the other way around? It's because she always has that same smile on her face. So no one ever knows what she's really thinking. She's already won the battle right from the start. If General Goro's friend wants to go head on with her, he must at least learn to do as she does, to conceal the workings of his mind. Ah, you make so much sense. So what you're saying is, my friend just needs to keep his cool and she won't have the chance to take advantage of him. Exactly. Many things look complicated on the surface, but often, all it comes down to is who loses their cool first. Wonderful. You have my gratitude. I'm sure with your approach, that uh, friend of mine will be able to overcome his weakness. <clears throat> then I wish General Goro's friend a great victory <laughs> well i'm slowly starting to gain confidence oh I, I suddenly remembered her excellency updated her general operational directives recently who knows there may be some useful suggestions in there too let's go take a look just to be thorough her excellency handed me the general operational directives in three voice. parts and i think this is where i placed them Let's see. Deployment and mobilization, logistics, conflict resolution, dealing with outlander merchants. Aha! I got it! How to avoid awkward social situations. Well, that's Her Excellency for you. She thinks of everything, doesn't she? What does it say? Socializing is as important as a decisive battle. Know yourself and your enemy to succeed. Boy. If even Her Excellency treats this so seriously, then we'd really better be careful. 
What I take from this is it's not enough just to learn some general countermeasures. We need specific knowledge of Yaimiko's individual weaknesses to achieve ultimate victory. But how do we figure her out? I think we can visit Yai the uh, publishing house. house. Makes sense. Since she goes there often, perhaps we can find some telling details about her there. Let's go and investigate. Wait, what? Oh, I was confused by the net up here. Go to the Yaa Publishing House. Okay, it's down here then. Ah, this place. Ah, greetings. Here to buy some books? We just got a new batch of light novels in. Oh, these ones are all the rage at the moment. I must say that Lady Guji has a keen eye for a good book. Almost everyone she picks is a bestseller. Apparently, the rumor goes that if you can impress Lady Guji with your writing, you're just one small step away from becoming the next big author. Are these books select personally yes. selected? Well, first we screen all manuscripts, filter out the bad ones, and write synopses for the rest. Then we send those to Lady Guji for final approval. So you have close dealings with Guji Yai. What sort of person is she? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, for starters, uh, she's a very busy person. Whenever she visits the Yai Publishing House, she never stays for long. Uh, so, actually, we don't know a whole lot about her. Uh, still, she seems very invested in Yai Publishing House. Uh, and on occasion, she'll share some of her promotional strategies with us. Take That's Life magazine, for example. When we first started running it, sales were very poor. The return was barely covering costs, and for a while, it was on the verge of being axed. But the fans weren't happy about the prospect of their favorite magazine being discontinued. They kept writing in, begging us to keep it going. So in the end, Lady Guji stepped in and drew up a new marketing plan. Next thing you know, sales are through the roof. That's life. Wait... Isn't that... What's up? <laughs> Nothing. It just reminded me of something unrelated. <laughs> I didn't realize Yai Miko personally handled the marketing for Yai Publishing House. Uh, yet more proof of her unparalleled skill in reading people's minds. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. Is there anything more you can tell me about Guji Yai? Uh, no, that's all. Look... I'm not sure what your plan is here, but I caution you against trying to second-guess Lady Guji. Just my opinion, but she's the most mysterious person I've ever met. You think she's mysterious too? Uh, I guess we can forget about getting any insights this way then. Actually, you said that this batch of light novels was hand-picked by her, right? Maybe we could take a brief look. Perhaps we can get some inspiration from them. Sure. If you're interested, I recommend this book. I've been to other worlds, but I've never tasted defeat. <sighs> the protagonist doesn't have any particularly exciting abilities, but never fails to defeat strong opponents. It's all thanks to their wealth of experience and cunning strategies. Cunning strategies? In that sense, it sounds similar to Her Excellency Sangonomiya. Oh, there's an iconic line in this book that people quite like. One who relinquishes nothing also gains nothing. If you want to win when you're at a disadvantage, a little sacrifice is probably going to be necessary. Huh. Thank you for the valuable advice. Well, one more string to our strategic bow. Although I didn't learn much about my enemy, I've still learned a lot from everyone. <sighs> it's time to put these theories to the test. Let's go to Yaimiko's lair, the Grand Narukami Shrine. Oh, well, here we go. Teleport. So 
So this is the Grand Narukami Shrine. It's the first time I've been to this place. Hello there. You look like you have something weighing on your mind. Would you like to draw a fortune slip? The Grand Narukami Shrine's fortune slips have always been very accurate. I've heard that the generals of the past used to employ all sorts of divination techniques to find out their fortune before a battle. I'm not in the habit of it, but well, since the opportunities come up, I'd like to give it a try. Let's draw one together. Uh, who started this one? Successfully drawn. Let's Open it up quick. We've drawn. Good fortune. Not bad. At least it's something good. It means that our training must have been effective. Things will go differently this time. <laughs> Keep up. Challenge Amiko again. Oh my. Any second now, we'll be face to face with her. Let's show Don't her his worry. bus. All our hard work is definitely going to pay off. She can forget about teasing me this time. You look for Yamiko together with Goro. Oh? You arrived a little later than expected. Did you run into some trouble along the way? You knew we were coming? Mm, but of course. That's why I'm here waiting for you. <laughs> so what if you knew we were coming? This time, we won't get caught off guard. We're here to... <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> no need to rush. Let me guess. In the past, I used to have many believers coming to see me at the shrine every day, and most of them came for the same reason. Especially those who came in pairs. Nine times out of ten, they were here seeking to know their future fate, hoping that it would be a lifetime together. If you're interested, I'd be quite happy to do a reading for you two. Together for a lifetime? Whoa, whoa, calm down, Gora. Remember what Shuhei said? We mustn't pay too much attention to what she says. Otherwise, we may be fooled by her cunning words. Now that I think about it, perhaps I never needed to recommend that store to you in the first place. You can just leave all your fur grooming to your little friend here. Imagine <laughs> you holding your tail in one hand, combing it gently with the other. <laughs> Uh oh, not good. My mind is already full of mental images. Can't I'm thinking I'll now. Have to resort to the method Miwa taught us. <laughs> By the way, there's really no point in trying to hide the way you feel. <laughs> you might be able to remain stony faced if you really try, but with your tail swishing behind you, <laughs> it tells everything. What? Then again, you know what? Traveler, Most you know people what? only pay attention to your tail, but those soft, pointy ears are really just as fascinating. Please no more. There's only one method left. A cunning strategy <laughs> that no one saw coming. This is going to hurt me almost as much as it hurts my opponent. Gora. I think the real reason you know me so well is that <laughs> you're just like me. Just like me, you hug your tail when you go to sleep. And just like me... You daydream about someone else grooming your tail for you. I see. You decided to admit your feelings in an effort to bring me down with you. Not bad. I suppose this is a step forward for you. But I'm afraid. I don't have a tail at all. No. <sighs> hey, oh. Retreat. Retreat. Fighting on is futile. Better to conserve resources for the next confrontation. We're out of here. When I get back, I'm going to train harder than I've ever trained before. I won't lose to her again. Bye bye now. Come again soon. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go here and then do the other option. Back down we go. Keep up. Okay. There was definitely something sorry that you since Watatsu I also wanted to come and see what things are like. Uh, I've never been I could probably Really? 
To be honest, so as soon as I work, <sighs> good plan. Start by stud, but. Hey, hold on. I'm gonna start from the beginning. Yes. I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more vids. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender loving. I'll pick the options I haven't picked. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, it, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? W wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here to- Why? Because you are blessed with a what? Oh, I'm trapped. All right, that's it's enough. You. Oh my goodness. Please save me. Oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? Look at you, Amiga. <laughs> don't be nervous. Just follow your heart's desire. He's not going to fall for it. We fought side by side. Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. There was definitely oh, something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to okay, come and see what things are like. You know, and you uh, make I've, a I've never been good at dealing with people. Like I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't... It's okay, let's just ignore You're right. Yeah, Miko's not really? all that bad. <sighs> well, it's a relief to hear that. In that case, I still have some business to take care of with the Yai Publishing House. What is they it? They run a monthly magazine called That's Life, which has an advice column. Readers write in about their problems, and <laughs> I'm responsible for responding to them. I'm not quite sure why they chose me, but uh, it's my job now, and I can't give it up just like that. Yai Miko just handed me the latest batch of readers' letters. Uh, let's find a place to write the replies, then pack them up and send them back to Yai Publishing House. <laughs> Wasn't it down here? No. I guess it's over this way where we're going. Keep up. Okay. It doesn't really matter what I pick. This place looks nice and quiet. Why don't we write the replies here? The sooner I get them finished and handed back to the publisher, the sooner we can go do something else. I just hope I don't have another run-in with, uh, you know who at the Yai Publishing House later. Anyway, the writing could take me some time. The questions I receive are often so strange that I have to think long and hard about how to best answer them. I'll stay and keep Great. you company. Let's write the replies together. I'm actually interested to hear your perspective. Let me see here. Mm. Uh, let's start with this one. 
Today, a new guy came to our village. He was good looking and had a lovely voice. When I peeked at him from behind the door, I felt my cheeks getting hotter and my heart started beating faster and faster. <sighs> See, I can tell right away that this is exactly the kind of question I'm no good at dealing with. The letter seems to be from a young lady, which is not a demographic where I can offer much expertise. What's your take? Sounds like she's falling in love. Hmm. Well, I don't know what it's like to be in love, but if you say so, I think it makes sense. I'll reply like this then. <clears throat> It's likely that the feelings you're experiencing right now won't occur many times in your life. I urge you to summon the courage to seize this opportunity and see where it takes you, no matter where that may be. More professional what? than I expected. Really? But that's how it is in battle, too. Opportunities to seize victory are fleeting. When they arise, you have to capitalize on them right away. I imagine it's the same in love. That's my suggestion, anyway. Uh, come on, let's read the next letter. What does this one my say? My neighbor is always borrowing money from me, but never seems to be able to pay me back on time. I have tried subtly raising the issue in conversation several times, but he always finds a way to dodge my questions. He was kind to me when I was young. I don't want to make things ugly, but the money issue bothers me a lot. Please help me. Mm, if this is a dispute between neighbors, it must be settled as soon as possible. It's like when conflict arises between generals in the army. The proper policy is to resolve it without delay. And the most important thing in military regulations is fairness. It is only right to pay back a debt. I want to suggest that the writer demands their money back in no uncertain terms. Do you think that makes sense? Perhaps it's a softer that tone. That makes sense too. Giving the neighbor an ultimatum would likely harm the relationship between them. Yeah. But the letter also makes it clear that no matter how many hints the writer gives him, the neighbor won't return the money. In that case, how about we reply like this? Why not ask to borrow some money from your neighbor? Any sum he agrees to lend you can be used to offset the amount he owes. Even if he refuses to lend to you, at least by asking to borrow from him, you are sending him the message that your own financial position is far from optimal, and he will be unlikely to ask you for money again in the near future. Are you sure that'll work? Uh, I don't know. But it's worth a try. The most important thing is to muster the courage to resist and not give the other person the impression that you're someone they can take advantage of. And we're done with that letter. The next one seems longer. Let me see. Longer. Hello. I was born on Narukami Island and now I'm a soldier in the resistance. So this is from one of my troops? Is this someone you know? Mm, most likely. But I'm not sure who. Before passing any reader's letters on to me, Yai Publishing House has their staff copy each one by hand and redact all names in the process. So I can't be sure who exactly this is. Anyway, let's keep reading. I couldn't turn a blind eye to the Vision Hunt Decree, and my anger drove me to join the Resistance. My comrades and I have fought side by side, and I have formed deep friendships with them. Since we achieved our goal <laughs> and the war came to an end, I have remained on Watatsumi Island. Yeah, that's how gorse. But this is not my hometown, and I often find myself dreaming of the cherry blossoms falling on Narukami Island. I now don't know whether to stay here or return home. The resistance has treated me well, and I've long been disillusioned by the shogunate. But my hometown tugs constantly at my heartstrings. How should I reply to him? You have to answer this one. Let me think about it. To be blunt, I obviously don't want any soldiers under my command to leave, <laughs> but if making them stay causes them pain, how are my actions any different from the Vision Hunt Decree? I suppose I'll reply... Hmm. Narukami Island has changed. You should go back and visit. <sighs> that should do it. Or are you okay? I'll be okay. Come on, let's finish the rest of the letters. You have Goro write all the replies. Thanks to you, writing the responses went very smoothly this time. Let's go and deliver them to the Yai Publishing House. Okay, let's go deliver them. So let me make sure I'm on the final one. Oh yeah! 
That's two here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I thought there was five. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I gotta go back to that one and pick the other options on one of them. Okay. Pick everything I didn't pick before. Got it. And we get the final ending on him. Ah, great. That's all the replies for this round accounted for. Uh, thank you for all your hard work, Miss He... <clears throat> uh, Mr. Goro. I think nothing of it. I agreed to help, so it's only right that I do the best I can. Could I trouble you to come back to Watatsumi <laughs> Island with me? I want to find that soldier. Not to persuade them to stay, I just... I don't want them to leave without saying goodbye. Kazuha once told me that the bonds between people whose paths have crossed can never be broken, even after they part ways. But maybe I'm scared he might be wrong. People can change quickly, and I worry that the next time I meet my comrade, who fought so bravely alongside me, there will already be some distance between us. Let's go visit them Great. together. Then let's head off whenever you're ready. Chat with the soldiers on Watatsumi Island. Wait, domain? What does this domain do? Ah. Wasn't there also a domain in the middle of the... Ah, yes. Seems to be a one-time domain, though. But fighting is hard. Should I needed the path marked? I don't have the path marked anymore. Okay, all the way back. Back all the way over here we go. Okay. Keep up. Don't mind if I do. No, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just, I just want to steal your carrots and food. Keep up. Keep up. That's all I want is to steal your food. Yeah. General Goro, a and Captain of Swordfish too. General Captain, are you here to inspect the camp? Uh, not this time. I just thought I'd come by to catch up while everyone has some downtime. Certainly, General Goro. Anything you want to discuss, we'll share whatever we know. But we haven't been out of the camp lately, so <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of interesting stories. Actually, I've had something on my mind and wanted to ask everyone's thoughts on the matter. You see, after the war, Her Excellency streamlined the army and a lot of people were transferred to other duties. Do you still have much contact with each other? Uh, to be honest, not much. We're so busy even with just training and patrolling that it's almost impossible to squeeze in the time to meet up. We, we have holidays, but we usually use them to go home and spend time with our nearest and dearest. And besides, everyone's vacations come at different times and our, our schedules rarely overlap. Yeah, I'm busy when they're free and they're busy when I'm free. Anyway, even if we did manage to meet up, what then? We all do different jobs now and we all have new friends who aren't mutually acquainted. <laughs> I'm not sure what we talk about. Uh, so that's... Really how it goes, huh? We all go through, it's a part of life. I know, it's okay. I just, it just seems a pity, that's all. You know, having said all that, there, there's something else that I've always felt about this. Really? Yes, I feel that no matter how long we're apart and no matter what we might go through in the meantime, all of us will be straight back here if Watatsumi Island is ever in danger. <laughs> Even if we've all changed beyond recognition, we can always trust 
that we've got each other's backs. And that's one thing that's never gonna change. Where are your troops, General Goro? You trained us, you took us into battle, and led the way as we charged against the enemy. Even if we seldom keep in contact now, we are still brothers in arms. If you say the word, we will all pick up our weapons again at a moment's notice. Long live the resistance! <laughs> yes, that's the way it should be. Long live the resistance! Long live the resistance? I won't disturb you any further. You guys keep training hard. Regarding everything else, I'm sure it'll all be fine. After joking with us over for time, you hear approaching footsteps. Ah, General Goru, you're here. I believe Hiroaki's been hoping to catch you. He's been waiting at the camp for a long time, but never saw you return. Are you planning to head back to camp later? If you're busy, I can go and let him know so he's not waiting there in vain. Tell him I'll be right over. I know what I have to do now. Come with me. Let's head to the camp. Okay, let's go to the camp then. Oh, we're going this way. Genjiro is right. No matter what changes the future may bring, we will always have each other's backs. Sure, there may be some awkward silences when we meet again after a long time, but in no time at all, we'd be the best of friends again. There we go, we're here now. General okay, Goro, I... I... I would like to request permission to leave the Resistance, sir. I know this may seem very abrupt, and in fact, I've only just made the decision. It's all right. Back then, I had so much hatred for the Vision Hunt Decree, and so much disappointment in Narukami Island for supporting it. But after the war ended, I wanted to go back and visit, but I still couldn't make up my mind. Thanks to Miss Hina's encouragement, I was finally able to find <laughs> the courage to talk to you about it. Of course, if you disapprove, <laughs> I'll obey your orders. I, I am your subordinate, after all. I don't recognize Miss that name. Miss Hina? Who's that? It's a long don't say story. It. Forget it. Never mind her. I approve your application to leave the resistance. General Goro, I... Uh, come on. Don't look so down. It's not like we're never going to see each other again. If you ever have the time, you should come back and visit Watatsumi Island. There's no need to limit yourself to a specific place. Just do what you want to do. No matter where we are, we will always be comrades. Yes, General. You walk back with the soldier to the seashore. I'll take my leave then. Take care of yourself, General Goro. Take care. That was... That was okay. Or should I say, it was for the best. This is how it should be. It should leave you with a smile on your face. Just like this. <laughs> There's that one. One more. Obtain one hang up. Five memories. One more memory. Whatever I didn't select here. Yeah. <laughs> Keep up. Oh, we're back over here, are we? Huh. This place looks nice and quiet. Why don't we write the replies here? The sooner I get them finished, I just hope I don't have another run-in with, uh, you know. Anyway, I gotta pick the, the other ending. Take me some time. The questions I receive are often so strange that I have to think long and hard about how to best answer them. I'll go keep watch. Ah, you want to scout ahead? Yeah, that works. This way, if Yai Miko's lying in wait for me there, I can avoid her. But stay sharp, okay? She is a force to be reckoned with. You must be sure to tread carefully. If you spot her, get yourselves back here right away, and we'll run for our lives. I mean, uh, <coughs> we'll... Make a strategic retreat. <laughs> strategic anyway, retreat. I'm counting on you. Yeah, this Keep one's up. it. Secret identity. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right, everyone, settle down. We are gathered here today, united by a common purpose. Now, who can tell me what they think that might be? Let's see what this is well, all about. Of course it's to tell the whole world about how wonderful Miss Hina is. An excellent answer. How gentle she is. How understanding she is. How delightfully mischievous she can be. On occasion, we can all testify to the great joy that Miss Hina has brought to our lives. But my friends, there are so many people out there in this world who still need Miss Hina's salvation. We can help by spreading the good news about Miss Hina to every soul in the world. <laughs> my friend, do you have a moment to talk about Miss Hina? I've never heard of her. <gasps> Friends, I found one! Someone needs our help! Shh, calm your voice down. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, my friend. On this <laughs> joyous day, we would like to open our hearts to you and tell you about the existence of a perfect being. She is gentle, kind, understanding. She is the brightest star in our sky. Here, have this pamphlet. So, what do you think? <laughs> to that big sister, gentle and kind, she answers all your questions. She helps you rid all your trouble. So that's kind of oh, familiar. My apologies. In my excitement, I forgot to give you all the details. Have you ever come across a magazine called That's Life? Published by the Yae Publishing House. It's a monthly magazine featuring, amongst other things, an advice column. We were among the first readers to send in letters seeking advice, and we've received kind and gentle replies to each one. <laughs> Although the editor chose sure, to none the wiser, name, is he? gender, and other details, we all see her as an emphatic older sister figure and feel convinced that she must be the same sort of person in real life. Oh, there's no mistaking it. Just from her letters, I can feel that she respects me, trusts me. She has a natural ability to connect with people. She's so considerate. She can always sense our true emotions from our letters and never fails to deliver the advice and the encouragement we need. Except when it comes to the topic of romantic love. She's clearly not an expert there. But even then, that just makes her all the more endearing to us. Recently, the column went through a low period where it just wasn't popular at all. In fact, they almost axed it. Fortunately, Yae Publishing House made the decision to publicize her image. And then the column finally started to grow in popularity. So Miss Hina That's is... That's right. Miss Hina is the person in charge of That's Life Magazine's advice column. She is the one we all admire and adore so greatly. And so... When we heard that Yae Publishing House would be revealing the official likeness of Miss Hina today, we immediately came here from wherever we were, all over the nation, to gather together and to witness this grand moment in history! I wonder how Gore would react to this. Please, gaze upon the radiant beauty of Miss Hina. See how truly lovely she is. Talk to the fan club members. Go back to and talk to Goru. You know what? Let's just teleport quicker. It's quicker. If I just do this. Oh, hey. There you are. Is, uh... <clears throat> uh you know who at Yai Publishing House? No, she Ooh. isn't. That's good. What's up, Goro? I just finished writing my replies, so... I was about to head to Yai Publishing House and hand them in. Why are you helping Ray for him? Hmm. I guess it's because I can help people this way. Also, the editor said to me, this is something that only you are capable of. They made quite a solemn request when they first approached me, so I felt like I couldn't refuse it. But once I'd settled into it, I found myself really enjoying it. Before I knew it, I had written hundreds of replies, and sometimes they'd respond again just to thank me. It made me so happy whenever they'd compliment me. Uh, Every time I think about that terrifying woman, I feel like I want nothing to do with Yai Publishing House. But then, whenever I think about how my replies can help so many people, I feel a sense of responsibility. By this point, I'm so used to it that I'd probably find it hard to adjust if I ever gave it up. I just have... I can't... I want to tell them! Well, I don't... Quite know what's going I on. I want to tell him. I'd like to get these letters delivered quickly while 
you know who isn't around. I'm really looking forward to the reader's reactions when they receive my letters. In the army, people are always a little reserved when talking to me because I'm a general. But those obstacles are removed when you're communicating via letters. Everyone who writes seems to treat me like that one friend who they can share anything and everything with. So I'm not about to let them down. Let's head over. Why don't I do them for you? But Yai Publishing House isn't far from here, if I remember correctly. Let's just head there together. Besides, this way, if uh, you know who does show up, yeah, we I want to tell them for each other. I want to go with him. I mean, no, I want to tell him. I want to tell him. Yeah. Hmm. Strange. It seems unusually lively here today. I don't come here often. Is it like this most of the time? It's a special hey, case today. There seems to be some commotion over there. Let's check it out. <laughs> Allow me to reiterate, my friends. We in the Miss Hina fan club must abide by the club rules. Firstly, we mustn't try and probe into Miss Hina's true identity. We of all people cannot cause her any trouble. Secondly, fans of Miss Hina are not to make any controversial statements when representing the fan club. We must exercise self-discipline and present a good image in front of other people. Thirdly, while our mission is to promote Miss Hina in every way possible, if someone we're talking to says they're not interested, we are to respect that and not go forcing it down their throats. And finally, we are here today because Miss Hina has brought us together, but we are also here to change ourselves for the better, for her sake. Can we do that, people? Can we do that? Yes, we can. Always make her proud and never bring her down. Oh, so this is what they call a fan club. I don't know whose fan club it is, but they are raring to go. Reminds me of the rallying speeches we used to give before going into battle. <laughs> hmm. Something's up, isn't it? I can tell. You're avoiding my gaze. <laughs> Did something happen? <gasps> it's not her, is it? Excuse me, friend. Something about you looks awfully similar to Miss Hina. No resemblance whatsoever. Well, one way or another, fate has brought you here. Have you ever heard of Miss Hina? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure. Well, now's as good a time as any for you to find out more. Miss Hina is gentle, kind, <laughs> and considerate. You can tell her anything that is bothering you, and she will patiently advise you on how to deal with it. Oh, well, she sounds like a very pleasant person to be around. She must be the polar opposite of Yai Miko, right? Ah, it gives me an option, right? As I go check Discord. It's KVM search doesn't like switching between computers that well. Ah. She's the spitting image of Miss Hina. I wonder if they're blood relatives. Shh. Have you forgotten? We may not pry into Miss Hina's identity. At least let's take a photo with him. <clears throat> Friend, may we take a photo with you? We borrowed a camera specifically to witness the official unveiling of Miss Hina's image today. Uh, sure, that's fine. Why do they want to take a picture with me? Uh, let's see something. Oh, let's look at Twitch real quick. I want to see who's live. Who is live on Twitch at the moment? Actually, I should do this. That way there's no silence, you know? Maybe they're okay. Oh. Okay. 
It's a uh, craft as a Yamiko. Right, sure. People cluster and go and take great many photos of them. Ah, <sighs> that should do it. Right. I should really be heading to the Yai Publishing House to hand in those letters now. Phew, manage to keep uh, them in the dark. Make way, everyone. Make way. <laughs> the Miss Hina billboard is here. Please make some space. <laughs> Coming through. Hey, everybody. It's the real Miss Hina. Miss Hina. Miss Hina. Now I'm curious, too. Let's go over and take a look. You can't. Huh? Why? What's I heard the Yamiko's problem? about I... to come back. <sighs> really? Then we can't stay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> as curious as I am to see what all the fuss is about, it'll have to wait until next time. So please join me again the next time I'm delivering letters. There we go. <laughs> we are done with that. Uh, who shall we do now? Beans. <laughs> shall we do beans? I don't have a story key. Oh, yeah. I guess coffee is a hangout. Wait, I already did. Oh, no, it's a hangout. Isn't this, uh, yeah, I need to uh, hate them. Okay. Nilu, dancing. You know, let's start this story quest. Okay. Tainari's gonna meet Tainari. Adventurer's Guild. Traveler, you've come at a good time. Wait, this sounds like another commission. <laughs> it is as you say. The commission this time around is of high importance. It pertains to the safety of the Avidia Forest's inhabitants. Huh? What happened? Not long ago. We received word that a section of the Avidia Forest seems to have become contaminated. Contaminated? You mean a new withering zone? I don't know about the specifics, but I hear that strange things are happening to people who cross through that region. The Avidia Forest's inhabitants won't leave their home so easily. If we allow this contaminated region to expand, the consequences could be unimaginable. That's why I want to ask you to investigate the situation. Even if all you can do is stop the contamination from spreading, that will still save many people. This is forest business. Hmm. Maybe Tainari will know something. Let's go find him. Yeah, let's go find Tainari. Okay, we're not running, we're not walking here, are we? Oh yeah, I forgot, or how do we have say that? It doesn't really have any teleport waypoints to it. I forgot about that. I keep forgetting to turn that off. Okay. Keep up. Tainari. This is where you've been, Tainari? Hmm. That's Shh. Keep your voice down. Tainari. Everything's spinning. Am I going to die? 
mom that I should have listened to her and tell Suna that I'm sorry for breaking her toy. I didn't tell her because I was scared that she wouldn't play with me anymore. Tainari, I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I feel like I'm getting lighter. What happened? Tainari, is he... Okay, okay, enough nonsense. You just have a small fever. Take your medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Really? Then, can you keep the thing about the toy a secret for now? Uh, no can do. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't solve anything. Oh. Hmm. Hey, let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. How did you get this sick all of a sudden? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. It's different from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. After I got out, I... I started feeling dizzy. Could it be? The contaminated region? Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so. Got it? Traveler, Paimon, let's step out for now. You leave the room with Tainari. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I gave him some antipyretics. Let him rest here for a while. Antipyretics. I told him that he okay. would feel better after some medicine and rest. But I only said that to comfort him. His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. They seem more akin to a disruption in his psyche. Antipyretics won't be of much use. What do we do? Mr. Forest Watcher, you have to help him. If memory serves, a plant called Vasunti grass can help soothe the mind. A small number grow in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. They're expensive and unable to grow in the Avidia Forest's climate, so I don't have any on hand. I'll ask the caravans. Uh, go find Kale. Have her prepare medicinal tools and a set of traveling gear for me. All right. Thank you. Contaminated region. Hmm. Is that why you two are also here? Yep. Is it a new withering zone? Doesn't seem like one. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance made itself home in the Avidia Forest, so I can't turn a blind eye. We feel the same way. All right. Let's contact the caravans first and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask about the contaminated region. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Are we going? We're going far away this way. Oh, we're going back to the city. Where are you, Tainari? Keep up. Oh, you're right over here. Okay. Where we're going. Excuse me. I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Do you have any? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but we've been closed for the past few days. Closed? Now that's odd. 
It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some of our goods were stolen recently. They were mechanical parts that we got from the academia. Although they're old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short this trip. All the merchants talked it over and we decided to raise the prices of our remaining inventory. Until this plan takes effect, none of us can privately sell anything. I don't get it. If these goods are so important, then why not think of a way to get them back? Raising prices won't solve anything. At best, you're shoving the consequences of the robbery onto your customers. Mr. Forest Watcher, it's not that we don't want to. It's just the thief disappeared into the deepest parts of the forest. We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Anyone who goes in experiences mental anomalies. We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. All we could do is come up with another solution. So the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts? How many people were there in total? Were they not affected by the contaminated region? That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many, uh, there weren't any people. No people? Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, oh, fine. The thief that stole our parts was a huge mechanical crab. What the heck? The Avidia Forest has creatures like that? It has creatures like that? Is that... Is it that crab? Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not think about it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It came out of nowhere. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. We were all shocked. By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course! Uh, not only that, but you'll become one of our caravan's VIPs on all future purchases of any- Because I had no need. Enough. Tell me something that's actually useful. Uh, any leads on that mechanical crab? Maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. If you're interested, you can go and talk to them. All right. We'll go and have a word. We'll go and have a word. Gather information nearby. Keep Hello. Up. After the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. It turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. However, the crab only seems to be interested in machinery. It doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. A caravan carrying a large amount of more had an uneventful trip, but another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. There's one. There's two. That mechanical crab is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. Didn't academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ugh. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? This is rough. And the other person. I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. We don't normally see the mechanical crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's done making a mess. You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. However, 
We did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. It apparently lives in the deepest part of the forest, so instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll have to move fast if you want those goods back. Oh, well, now we go back to the other guy. How are things? Did you make any progress? We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things, or the mora you made. That would be the most efficient method. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. Right. It's really weird. So, you all found a way to retrieve our goods? Do you have any more mechanical parts with you? Yes, I still have a small bag of samples. They weren't taken since I keep them on me at all times. Oh, are you planning to... Under constant external conditions, organisms rarely initiate changes in their habits. Here's what we know so far. It has a mechanical composition, it lives in the contaminated region, and it comes out to steal mechanical components. If we have said components, we can lure it out, capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is all yours, Mr. Forest Watcher. If you can get our goods back, the caravans will reward you generously. We don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. We'll also need to borrow a Sumpter Beast. Our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. If it means getting our things back, you can even borrow me to do whatever you need. <laughs> I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, we'll use the mechanical components and Sumpter Beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab. Once it appears, capture it. I leave the timing to you. Don't worry, <laughs> we're professionals. Okay, here we go. Teleporting across. We're gonna glide down there. We're gonna glide to it. Keep up. We will glide to this. Okay. Looking at the trade routes and the contaminated region's current perimeter, the goods were likely stolen somewhere around here. Now let's get to it. We'll definitely capture that criminal crab. Okay. We'll start from here and have the Sumpter Beast with the components on board lead the way. This Sumpter Beast isn't familiar with us yet. So be calm and take your time with it. The Sumter Beast went ahead. Let's keep up with it. We're just gonna walk, I guess. Huh? Why'd it stop? Hmm. Looks like it's loafing around. Or maybe it's hungry. The caravanners grew disheartened after their goods were stolen, so they probably didn't feed their animals as scheduled. All right, it's moving again. Yeah, it's moving fast. We're capturing the crab. Uh, did you hear something? It's gonna fire rockets at us, isn't it? Ah! Is that the mechanical crab the caravan was talking about? Yes, fine one. It looks strong. Be careful. 
Everything. Attack! Attack! Nowhere to run. <laughs> hey there! Teamwork is dreamwork. There we go. It doesn't seem to understand us. It doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. Keep an eye on it. I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. After some searching, finds the goods. I don't know why you're crap. stealing mechanical parts, but they don't belong to you. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. Any objections? It looks you sad. came from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. It reacted! Does it understand us? Mm, we can't be certain yet. Its excitement may be a simple programmed response upon seeing mechanical components. Okay, so you want the crowd to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. If we charge straight in, we'll get lost like headless pigeons. Also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. I've been studying this contaminated region recently, and I have a hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. Hyman gets it now. Um... Does this scuttler understand what you're saying? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. I gave it some components that it will definitely take back to the contaminated region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. It seems to be really happy. It Listen seems to, to be. Wait for us here. No running off. We'll be back soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you another mechanical part as a reward. Understood? Not understood. Does that count as understanding us? I'm not sure. But our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Fasanti grass to make medicine with. We should return. Oh yeah, the but grass before stuff. before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. Get the mechanical com components back to the merchant. Okay, teleporting back over here. Now we walk. There we go. These are the mechanical parts that were stolen! You really got them back for us! Oh, thank you all so very much. I don't know how I can repay you. Wait, didn't you want to purchase Fasanti grass? Uh, don't worry about the price. They're on the house. How many do you need? Yes. Uh, two is enough. No, that won't do. Here, I'll throw in some more. Uh. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, they aren't worth much compared to this merchandise. Ah, but those parts are very useful to me. Just like the Vasanti grass. I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. We're even. <laughs> oh, and before we go, just a reminder. The forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other dangers are still present. Take caution on this route. 
take caution Noted. in the truth. Thank you all ever so much. Let's return to the village. The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better. Will do. Oh, this one. I'm going for this one right here. Okay. Hello, Kale. Oh. Hi there, Traveler and Paimon. Hi. Master, I prepared the pharmaceutical equipment. Do you need me to help grind the medicine? No need. A precise dosage is required this time, so I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. But once I'm done, you can deliver the medication to the child. He gets a little nervous when I'm around for too long. I don't think he finds me very approachable. I'll go prepare the medication. Traveler, give me a hand. Oh, we're gonna make some more alchemy things. Are we? At the end time, I prepare the medicine. How is he? Feeling any better? We give it to Kale. <sighs> I feel like he's doing a lot better. And his temperature is returning to normal. That's wonderful! Oh yeah. He asked me to tell you that Suna came by earlier. And he told her everything about the toy. Suna didn't get mad, so he wanted to thank you. Uh, can I ask what happened? It's nothing. Did you prepare the traveling gear that I asked you to? Of course I did. Are you going somewhere far away? Yes, we're going to the contaminated region. Judging by its size, we will likely have to stay overnight. I'm leaving everything to you while I'm gone. Huh? But I, uh, I can't even begin to compare to you. Many things are learned by doing, and once they've been done, you'll realize that they weren't as difficult as you once thought they were. Deal with problems as you yourself see fit. You don't have to emulate me. That's right! You'll do great, Kale. All right, then I'll do my best. Master, Traveler, Paimon, take care of yourselves. Don't worry, Kale. Everything will be fine yeah, with You put too around. much confidence in me. <laughs> anyway, like you said, things will likely be uneventful. Let's return and find that crab. Now we go all the way back over here. We're gonna glide over. Actually, is this higher or is this lower? I wonder. Let's go another way. Huh? I don't think it really matters. Hey, look, the crab is gone. Hey, okay, the crab's still here, isn't it? Hey, look, the crab is gone. We're here. It should be. Huh? Oh, the crab is There's actually crab. gone. Did it secretly scuttle away? The traps weren't triggered, so it should still be here. Odd. Hmm. <laughs> it's here. You honored our agreement and waited here until we returned. As such, I'll hold up my end and give you another mechanical part. Keep it safe. I'm not giving you another one if you lose it. Glad you're satisfied. If you want more mechanical parts, take us deeper into the contaminated region. I want to see what happened there. What caused the Avidia Forest to become like this? Hey, what are I here? I heard something else. I heard the slime. Okay. Mushroom thing. <laughs> okay. 
Ok. So this is the contaminated region that everyone's been talking about. Oh, it definitely looks different from normal. It looks different it's from like normal. Really creepy and suffocating. Do you feel unwell at all? Doing fine so far. Good. It's as I predicted. Elemental power confers a degree of resistance against the contaminated region's influence. How do you know that? Well, I haven't entered the contaminated region for a proper investigation, but I've conducted quite a few controlled experiments. My observations during our time here have all but confirmed my hypothesis. Look at these flowers. How are they different from normal? They're radiating something. This flower species is formerly known as the Sumeru Rose, but it is also known as the Leyline Lodestar. They're sensitive to ley lines and emit varying amounts of light in response. Huh. Excessive brightness indicates a dangerous level of ley line activity in the surrounding area. From the looks of things, the ley lines around here are already out of control. You're saying the contamination here is coming from ley lines? I can't confirm that right now, but I think that is the case. Let's take another look around and see if we can discover more clues. Which way we're gonna oh, we'll go more into a contaminated zone ish. I picked it up, ha. Huh? You know, we haven't seen any animals this entire time. The birds used to chirp really loudly, and there were a lot of foxes. The contaminated region currently appears to have a critical efflux of ley line energy, which is probably the root cause of the patient's cognitive disturbances. Some animals have keen awareness. They sense something abnormal in this area and fled. Leaky ley lines sure can cause a lot of damage, huh? Like how plants have preferred growth conditions, we also gradually habituate to our surrounding environment. Climate, temperature, humidity, intensity of ley line energies. When people live under fixed conditions, they reach a sort of homeostasis with their environment. This equilibrium is broken when the surrounding environment abruptly changes, causing people's bodies to react in abnormal ways. If normal fluctuations in temperature occur, then our bodies automatically adjust. However, the average person cannot adapt to changes in ley line energy, and so they fall ill. Ah, I see. Then why are we okay? Elemental power. I'm not power. sure why you are, but... He and I are fine because our elemental capabilities allow us to adapt to this kind of change. Of course, it's not a good idea to spend too much time in areas with concentrated ley line energy. The only one who can freely traverse this place is probably the mechanical crab. That's about it for the investigation. Help me find an open space. I want to test something. What do you want to test? Oh, you gotta go over here. Environment. No wind. Target parameters. Normal. Setup complete. Excellent. Looks like it's working. What's this? A purification device I made. It can absorb excess ley line energy and temporarily stabilize an area. What a neat thing! Let's set up more and cover the entire region! I wouldn't mind if that would actually work. Unfortunately, once this contamination is present, it isn't something that a few purification devices can fix. The purification devices have their limits. At best, they can only prevent the contaminated region from expanding temporarily. If we want to permanently eradicate the contamination from the ley line effluence, We'll need to tackle the source. Ah, the heart of the contaminated That's region. That's right. Huh? The mechanical crab is acting a little strange. Something's approaching. Oh, so one that's of those. It. Now that the ley line energy has stabilized, the monsters that had left are starting to return. 
Get rid of them quickly. Don't let them get close to the purification device. Don't let them get close to it. <laughs> hey there! Watch out! Hiya! That was easy. Oh, fuck. Fuck those things. Fuck those things. Hey! Where are you? Wait for Eric! Let's hurry and keep up! The mechanical crab went that way! Let's keep up! Fucking hell. <laughs> Help! Help! Yeah, let's light it up. And shroud, I'll uproot you. Futile. Hey there, watch out. I'm going in. Can't see. Surrender. I hear everything. Die. Yeah. Die. <laughs> hey there. Watch out. Die. Yeah. Die. Fire. Well, <laughs> let's light it up. <laughs> That's why I hate fighting these things. They're annoying. Teamwork is dream work. Well, these aren't that bad. Let's light it up. <laughs> hey there. One with the forest. Huh? Nowhere to run. Huh. Ha. A proper send off from the Spina with love. Huh? Futile. <laughs> Can't see. <laughs> Let's nip that in the bud. Keep up. Coming at ya. Can I have the mechanical parts at least? <laughs> spare me. Please spare me. Hey, are you okay? Hmm. These injuries are superficial. Don't move. I'll patch you up. What? <laughs> Who are you all? What happened to those mechanical monsters? Don't worry, we took care of them. Yeah, we took oh, care of good. them. <laughs> That's uh, good. Uh, it's a monster! <laughs> Hurry, attack it! Face palm. How do we explain this? Uh, Krabby here isn't a bad guy. It heard you shouting for help and brought us here to rescue you. It's faking it. It has to be. Maybe it's going to partner up with the other mechanical mon- Do you know what's inside the forest? It's all- It's- uh, I just it's came here to pick herbs, freaks. But I accidentally went to the contaminated region and almost died. Hmm. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, <laughs> I have to escape. <laughs> Be careful. These mechanical life forms are up to no good. It'd be best if you stayed far, far away from them. Uh, no wonder the academia wanted to completely ban the existence of mechanical life forms. Uh, those things should be annihilated. Uh, are you okay? His inarticulate speech and bodily tremors indicate psyche disruption. Hmm. He's been inside the contaminated region for too long. We've purified the ley line energy over there. Follow this path out and you'll soon see the village. Like, okay. When he gets to the village, someone will bring him to Kale for help. I already prepared medication that will return him to normal. Oh, 
expecting something? It looks like he's hmm. expecting something. So, you think you did a good job and want a part as your reward, huh? It's so hard to understand. All right. Regardless of what you're thinking, you did some real good this time. That's why I'll give you another mechanical part. Need any help with it? Guess not. Well, make sure to hang on to it. What was going through your owner's mind when he made you? I wonder. You're like a giant mechanical crab on the outside and a fluffy little hamster on the inside. And also, how do you feel about that person saying that you're as evil as the other mechanical life forms? Okay, it definitely doesn't understand you. It seems like it possesses limited understanding only towards matters related to mechanical components. Help others to get parts. That's probably its thought process. As for why it, rather, its owner, uh, is collecting so many components, uh, I'm not sure. It's getting late. Let's set up camp for the night. We'll explore further tomorrow after a night's rest. We'll explore tomorrow. The first spot hey. to set up a tent. Over here. Come huh? on, you big lummox. Raise your head and look up. <laughs> now I want to stay here for a little bit. <laughs> oh. Let's set up camp here. All right. Hyman also thinks it's a good spot. Oh. Any particular reason? This place is perfect to put up a big tent. We can also set up a cooking pot and cook tons of delicious food. A very Paimon reason. You're not wrong. But the primary reason for choosing this place is because its higher elevation keeps us away from the water vapor below. Rainforests are very wet. You should always be careful when spending the night in damp places. For the next tasks at hand, let's divide and conquer. I'll set up the tent. You'll be in charge of making the fire. And Paimon will forage for edibles nearby. Leave it to Paimon. Paimon's a pro. I'm not expecting Get some poisonous much. mushrooms. Just do what you can. I would. That's a ten hours bad and two safe to start a fire. That's right. You can use rushes to start a fire in the wilderness. Their pits are relatively dry and can be readily set aflame. The downside is that they produce a lot of smoke. Sort of weird looking <laughs> mushrooms, but Paimon didn't know which ones were edible. Paimon also saw wild berries on the ground, and Paimon was gonna fly over and pick them up, but the dead leaves on top suddenly started moving. It freaked Paimon out. Those were probably dead leaf butterflies. They camouflage as dead leaves to evade predators. My guess is that they mistook you for a bird when you flew over, so they fled. Little did they know that you were more scared than they were. <laughs> Never mind. The tent's up, so you two go rest. I'll forage for food. Oh, <laughs> you found some already. You have my gratitude. Fuck. More I useful than Paimon. Fuck. It wants mechanical parts again. Sorry. I read that after no I clicked this it. Time. That task wasn't important enough. If every little thing resulted in a reward, then it might start to take advantage of the system. I'll note little things like this and give a cumulative reward at a later time. Are you running low on parts? Mm -hmm. That is one reason. It looks really sad. After some further thought, 
It might come up with some weird misunderstanding if I don't give it something. All right, here's another for you. I'm off to prepare dinner. We'll take shifts on lookout duty tonight. You two can sleep first. I'll wake you up later. We need lookouts? Yes. Even though most animals fled because of the ley lines, we can't completely let down our guard. It's settled then. I'll set up some pest repelling devices so uh, poisonous insects don't come crawling into the tent. Have a good night. Not too good, though. <laughs> Go into the tent and rest. Paimon's getting sleepy. Uh, is this because of the ley lines? It's been a while since we camped outside like this. <laughs> this feels like when we just started adventuring together. I'm on gradually falls asleep while reminiscing. Huh? Awake? Hmm. You're awake earlier than I expected. Did you sleep well? Very That's well. That's good. I was worried that you two wouldn't be able to sleep, so I used two of my homemade incenses. Don't worry. They're made from all natural ingredients. They have a light fragrance and aren't harmful to the body. Speaking of which, have you seen the crab? Nope. It was scampering around over there just now, but I don't know where it went. Hold on. Here. Okay. Are you wary of so it? So you can tell. My suspicion is less towards the crab and more directed to its unrevealed owner. A ley line effluence of this magnitude occurred without any warning. Someone probably disrupted the natural flow of the ley lines. Until we fully understand the situation, take extra caution. The Academia has banned mechanical lifeform research for years, so the origin of these creatures is very suspect. The Academia previously conducted Topics research? Topics related to mechanical lifeforms were popular in the Sponta mod for a time. Some of my juniors had also thrown themselves into such research. They proposed an intriguing idea. Use our knowledge to create a new and practical life form that could help humanity conquer nature. However, no matter which modules or parts are installed, a machine yeah. is innately a construct that receives and executes commands. They can never possess self-awareness like us or other living organisms. In their pursuit to discover the differences between mechanical and biological life forms, Zealous researchers performed unregulated vivisections and other absurdly cruel experiments on animals. Research on mechanical life forms was thus banned. The irony is that the researchers became even more impetuous afterward. Uh, who knows? Maybe the subject will be unbanned in a few years. Do you not like this area of research? Hmm. That's a difficult question to answer. I am interested in the topic of mechanical life, but I don't like the researchers' attitudes. Anything in particular, or because the conquest of nature is bad? It's just my personal opinion. My ancestors, and the Veluka Shuna of the desert, coexisted together and supported one another. The bloodline of my people was born from this symbiotic relationship. So to me, 
all life is important. To understand life, you must first respect it. Life is not an expendable commodity, and knowledge should not be wielded like a scepter. These are the points of contention I have with some researchers, and why I left the academia. Once you start placing yourself above other life forms, I mean, what kind of results do you expect to get from researching pure life with impure intentions? I understand really? what you mean. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Here's the crab. Coffee? Did you prepare this for us? Looks like I want to reward right. again. Seeing that you're working so hard to help out, I'll give you another part. You're not planning on using it? Many of your own parts are critically degraded, and you're running low on power. All right, suit yourself. Oh, and thanks for the coffee, but I'm about to go to sleep. Leave it with him. The night watch is yours. Stay safe. through the entire night. Your punishment is solo watch <laughs> duty. Don't worry. Paimon will be sure to stay awake next time. Uh, good morning, Traveler and Paimon. A quick question. Do you feel off at all? I'm a little busy. Me too. The farther in we go, the closer we get to the source of the leyline effluence. We'll be heading out earlier today. I'll take down the tent, and you two... Is there something we can do? Extinguish our fire so we don't set the entire forest aflame. Also, retrieve the pest repelling devices from last night. We don't want to affect the ecosystem here. Got it! Paimon will take care of the fire! I'll retrieve the pest repelling right. devices. Let's meet back here later. Okay. Retrieve the pest per pe Um huh. Was it the thing down here? No. Uh. It is not. Oh, it's up here then by where we're sleeping, isn't it? <clears throat> this one? Hey, look, we can collect Paimon. Hey, look, we can collect Paimon. <laughs> Last night's pest repelling devices right. are recovered. It's about time to head out. As we go further in, we may encounter more berserk machines. The effects of the ley lines will also increase. If you're struggling, it would be wise to avoid conflict. Try to conserve as much energy as possible until we reach the source of the contamination. Okay. As I thought, the closer we get to the contamination source, the more oh, mechanical fuck monsters these things. that appear. I don't. Oh fuck! Fuck you! You're dying. Gotcha. <laughs> hey there! I'm going in. <laughs> One with the fourth. Surrender. Fuck you! You die. <laughs> oh, I have to defeat you anyway. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey there! Watch out! Everybody stand 
Navia's built better. Let's light it up. Watch out. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Navi is built a lot better. Hey there, coming at ya. One more. I'm going in. Hey there, a proper set. Navi does a lot more damage. Can't see. Charge is fast Watch enough out. anyway, it's fine. Teamwork is dream work. Huh? Huh. 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 I'm defeating two here. <laughs> Let's light it up. unusual area where oh the flower it's up here upon closer inspection the plants here are really different Leyline energies are also stronger here. This may be the place we've been looking for. Ready yourselves? We're going in. We're going in. Okay. Uh, we might struggle. I gotta defeat them. Kind of mechanical monsters here. They made this place their lair. Looks like there's no way to sneak by. Let's take care of them quickly. Wait, but why is it on two? What? <laughs> Let's light it up. <laughs> hey there. <Come>. Surrender. <laughs> Oi! Why'd you move them around like that on me? <laughs> That's my time come. Coming at ya. <laughs> hey there. Shit, not leave the main. Fuck. Wrong button. Did not mean to click leave the main. It moved him on me. It's not fair. It went. Oh, we're just gonna put him here. I don't know if I have artifacts on anyone else. Time for some training? There. Then we're gonna put Tainari on the fourth one anyway. Who to get rid of? Ah, there we go. 
has a ton of mechanical monsters here. They made this place their lair. Looks like there's no way to sneak by. Let's take care of them quickly. Surrender! I'm going in! Let's light it up! Submit for judgment! Watch out! Hey there! Nowhere to run! Let's light it up! Let's nip that in the butt! Only he's hitting five, so... One's dead. Surrender! Fourth, my blade! I can't pause. Coming at ya! A proper send-off! From the Spina with love! A touch of frost! From whence you came! If there's any chests, I saw like pipes. Look at chest to me for a second. Okay. What is this? I've never seen a machine Leyline like this energy before. energy spilling out from here. This device. It's. Extracting energy from the ley lines without end. Who in the world would do this without considering the consequences? The ley lines won't be able to repair themselves if their flow is perpetually disrupted like this. That's terrible! We have to stop it! Well, that's oh, not that simple. Uh, oh, doesn't see controls anywhere! I'm trying to feel Standing dizzy. Here is Equivalent to being directly showered in ley line energy, which may cause irreversible damage to your body. Take Paimon and get out of here. I'll see if I can find a way to turn this thing off. Wait, you're also vulnerable to the ley lines, right? We're staying. We can't leave you here by yourself. Uh, then let's look for it together. If there's no control unit here, then there must be a trap door somewhere. The robot finds it. <laughs> See, like this. What's this? It'll only show up if you step on it? Be careful and watch your step. <laughs> ah, here it is. Look, someone's here. Are you the one that's taking the ley line? Oh. Energy? Turn off that machine now. Why are oh. you saying anything? Too ashamed. Oh. His body is cold. It's emaciated, and his eyes are sunken, likely from chronic malnourishment and stress. He collapsed and never got back up. What exactly happened here? The scholar. Almost forgot about you. Here. This is the last one. <laughs> what is it doing? I'm not sure. Judging by this room's layout, this place was a laboratory. We should find a repository of research documents if we keep going. The file room will definitely give us some clues, so let's go take a look. Maybe we can piece together what happened here. Oh. This place is very secluded. Did you two find anything? There are a lot of lab notes, but it would take way too long to read through them all. I found a tape recording used for an experiment, and based on its serial number, it's from two years ago. Tape recording? Yes. 
The Spontamod created a device that visually records experiments and consolidates the final production into a tape. However, these devices are expensive to make and aren't entirely stable. That's why they are only used in some laboratories and do not see wider usage. Come on, let's watch it. Hold on, let me figure out how to play the tape. Okay, this should do it. Kakata? Kakata? Seriously, I look away for one second and you're gone? There you are. Look here. This is our new home. I, Abatui, will unleash my talents here and amaze those ancient fossils at the Academia. Oh? You're also quite happy. Kakata, do you know what we're about to do? <laughs> yes, I thought not. Listen up, Kakata. I'm going to make a mechanical life form that can be mass produced. The technology will be unlike anything else that exists. I'll use mechanical organs, and electric currents will course through them like blood. A steel cast heart that will beat forever, and a brain of myriad components that can think like mine. Inspiration from the ruins and the research that the academia had banned. I hope everything can start anew from this place. When you can understand our language and live among us, you will no longer be a boring machine, but a truly living being. Truly living being. It's fine. You will understand. One day, you will understand me. Karkata is the mechanical crab, right? And that researcher named Abatui said he wanted to prove something to the academia? Banned research! That's banned research, right? Apparently. I remember now. I had a junior researcher named Abatui. He was expelled from the academia for researching mechanical life forms. Junior researcher? Junior researcher. Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. Paimon was just wondering. Doesn't Abatui look older than you? He is, but academic progression isn't tied to age. I finished my studies a while ago, so subsequent students generally considered me as their senior. Oh. Of course, age can be an issue. For a while, people uh always dragged me into pictures. I felt like some kind of animal on display. <clears throat> uh, that isn't important. Let's go and see if we can find other tape recordings. The pipes continue further. Let's head in. So following the pipes. Look, look! Paimon found another tape! Another one. The date is written on it. Let Paimon see. Oh, it's from a half a year ago! That's quite the time gap. I wonder what happened in between. Insert a tape gradually begins a recording in the past. It's that you malfunction because of an operational error. Seems that making coffee is still somewhat difficult for you. Or is there an issue with my set parameters? All right, there you go. Water entered the keela and caused it to short circuit, so it couldn't receive signals from the ganglion. Look at me, talking to you like this. You can't understand me anyway, can you? It's fine. I swapped in some new parts, so you should be all right now. Try moving around. Everything in working order? Be more careful next time. We're tight on money right now, so we don't have a lot of parts or power to spare. I'm glad. Karkata, did you know? Yesterday, I dreamed that you could talk. Aren't the bunch at the academia always saying things like, mechanical intelligence is just an extension of statistics? <laughs> they were blown away when they saw us talking with each other. Too bad it was just a dream. Forget holding a conversation with me. 
You're so simple that you probably wouldn't even notice if I died. Never mind. I should probably be worrying about next month's power. The recording ends here. After Abatui left the academia, everyone lost contact with him. I thought he was so despondent that he gave up on researching mechanical life forms. Instead, he had holed up here and continued his experiments. Paimon doesn't feel like he's a bad person. He even changed out Karkata's broken parts. Why would he mess with ley lines? You mentioned something about Let's power. Let's keep looking around. Okay. Can I not get stuck on everything? <laughs> Thank you. Following the serial numbers, the next recording should be here. Hmm. The writing is sloppy. Uh, perhaps his state of mind had changed. Uh, there's also an undated tape in the wrong spot. It doesn't seem like Abatui put it there. Maybe Karkata helped him with sorting. It's hard to say. These are the last two tape recordings. Let's watch them. Enter in the tape of the past. Sorry, Karkata. I was just thinking about something. Today might become a special day. In my recent experiments, I successfully gave you a living being's instincts. When you're low on power, or if one of your parts is damaged, you will prioritize your survival command and proactively recharge or replace your parts. That is a very dangerous thing. And today, I did something even more dangerous. I've officially activated the third generation ley line extractor. The ley lines will serve as our power source from now on. Conducting research on mechanical life forms requires a large amount of power. Even if I scrimped and saved, the more I have wouldn't last for long. I'm also getting tired, Karkata. I don't know what's driving me to continue with this research anymore. They say that even if it simulates the operation of a living creature's organs, a machine is still an ice-cold tool. I want to prove them wrong. I want to turn you into a living, breathing, and talking being. I'm not talking about anything cheerful, Karkata. Modules for language, emotion, and movement. I've been working my absolute hardest to augment and refine your functionalities, but I've never seen an effective response. You are my finest success, but even you can't understand me. All you can do is execute limited responses based on preset commands or keywords. Karkata, I wish you could speak to me, even just once. <sighs> yes, you cannot understand me, so you cannot answer me either. It is what it is. In a few days, I'll sell the failed ley line extractor for some more and continue my experiments. Life goes on, and I have to as well. I don't have any other choice. This is new. If I place another two control modules here to simulate the brain's thalamus... Oh, of course my heart decides to act up now. Why did I cut medication from our expenses? Karkata, come help me. Strange. I feel weak. Oh no, I have to shut down the extractor. Shut it off. <coughs> if we let them recharge indefinitely, they'll go out of control. Right. I never input a command to shut down the extractor, so you don't understand what I'm saying. In the end, it's just like the Academia said. Mechanical life forms only bring danger. My research... Was there any point to it at all? I'm sorry, Karkata. In the end... I still wasn't able to turn you. 
into a true mechanical life form. The new dice. Ha! Huh. I see. So, the ley line effluence was an accident. After Abatui's unexpected death, the mechanical monsters were driven by their instincts and continuously drew out power from the ley line extractor. Uh, this eventually resulted in severe damage to the ley lines. Then... Paimon understands. Then why didn't Karkata go haywire like the other machines? Because Karkata is different from the other machines. To Abatui, for a machine to truly be considered a mechanical life form, it must possess features similar to any other living organism. It should be structured similarly, it must be able to cry and laugh, and it must have the capacity for independent thought. Perhaps only by building such a machine could he have the academia acknowledge his protracted research. But if he had slowed down, and saw Karkata as a friend instead of as an experimental product, he would have noticed. Karkata can't speak, and yet it cares about Apatui far more than it does about itself. What does that mean? You'll see in a bit, but before that, we have a more urgent task at hand. More urgent task. First, let's find the control unit for the ley line extractor and shut it down. How? Oh. Unless it wants me to. I don't want me to do. More of this transparent flooring. It feels like a maze. Fuck. More of this transparent flooring. It feels like a maze. Okay, daily reset happened. Good. Good. That's what I was waiting for. How am I supposed to get over here? Yes, Paimon, I'm trying. Oh, I see. Okay. Is Keep this up. type of path? <laughs> this is what he meant by a maze. Bubble! Where does this take me? This back around, okay. Ooh. Below us is the final room. The control unit is likely in there. The land's here. Hmm. Want to try jumping down? Navia, focus. Oh shit. Navia is basically my DPS at this point. Fourth, my blade. Oi. Off we go. Let's light it. <laughs> hey there. Watch out. <laughs> 
This will not be fun. Nowhere to run. Watch out. A touch of frost. Submit for judge. Oh, you get out, 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 get out. Thank you. Teamwork is dream work. Let's light it up. Hey there. Attack! That's the way. Swift and merciful. Coming at you. I hear everything. Is Indoor really? Can't see. Hitting five. Okay. Hey there. Spirit blade. Attack. Coming at you. Hey there. Attack. Okay, hopefully this is it. Futile. Shroud. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. <laughs> okay. This should be the control unit. Once yes. we turn it off, the leyline extractor should also shut down. Yeah, let's turn it off. Without an external force damaging the ley lines, they should start to slowly repair themselves. Oh. But I bet you two are more worried about Karkata. Let's head back. Yes, let's head back. Keep up. There we go. I know this was his story quest though. Sad now. Hmm? Hmm? <sighs> 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 the robot is sad. So, Karkata has been collecting parts because it thinks doing so will fix its owner? Karkata is unable to understand the concept of death. However, it probably remembers when Abitui replaced its parts when it malfunctioned, and uh, how that restored it to an operational state. It's true that Karkata isn't able to think or understand many topics, but it is like a small child that imitates what adults do. So that's why it kept stealing mechanical parts. But it can't repair its owner, no matter how hard it tries. Yes. But the important thing is that it formed the thought of wanting to repair Abitui. 
Who knows how this thought came to be, but it has even suppressed the instincts that Abatui had installed. If it really is as we've predicted, this research truly will make waves in the academia. It might have been possible to achieve this with ancient technology, but no one has been able to do the same with modern tools. Krakata? Krakata? Can you hear Paimon? Painari says you're awesome! It's not responding. It reached its limit. It hasn't recharged this entire time, nor has it replaced its severely damaged parts. It's truly a miracle that it managed to hang on for so long. I'm gonna go confirm that the leyline extractor has shut down. Come with me. Let them be alone for a while. Let them be alone. Keep up. Hey, yeah, shut down. The leyline extractor has ceased operations. Traces of leyline energy are still in the atmosphere, but the effluence's source has been stopped. The purification devices will handle the rest. Moving on. Those affected by the ley lines need immediate care. We'll put up an announcement on the bulletin board about the dangers of entering the contaminated region and for symptomatic individuals to find Kale. According to the Academia's policies, we need to bring everything back. Research materials related to mechanical life forms will all be destroyed, and Karkata will be disassembled and sealed away. What the heck? You two should return first. I'll take care of things here. Although we've stopped the source of the effluence, the ley line energy in the air exceeds normal values. Your bodies won't be able to hold up if you continue to stay here. Uh, what? Listen, the Traveler hasn't rested very well, right? Also, it'll take some time to pack up all the research documents. You're not familiar with this research after all, so you won't be of much use here. Tell the Adventurer's Guild that the incident has been resolved, and uh, then get some sleep. We can discuss matters tomorrow. Penari marks out. Oh, and don't talk about Abatui. The fewer that know about mechanical life form research, the better. All right. Then let's go back to Catherine. Leave the secret lab. I'm just gonna go here. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put my mouse on my other. Wait, weren't we? Yeah, we were doing this. I can teleport over here, though. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I'll wait it out, but I'm gonna do that. Let's run in a circle for a minute. Okay. So, is there anything else I can get? Uh, oh, there's this. Oh, this is the cats. Hey, do we still Are turn... We They don't care too much for you. Who are they? The cats. 
There are also my cats. In temptations and loves are cats are curious creatures. They have mis many strengths, but curiosity is not one of them. Your curiosity and penchant strand fish on the shore trap birds on the ground. That means that's it for fish and birds, no? <laughs> Oh, I guess I can't talk. Uh, thank you. I'll take your apples. <laughs> oh, watermelon. Oh. Also, I need watermelon. <laughs> um, let's see. Anything over here to steal? <laughs> Seems like a negative. <laughs> oh. Okay. Can I get under here? Okay, let's go to the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> and I'm looking around. Region turned out to be a ley line affluence deep in the forest. Things are already getting back to normal. I see. Thank you for your hard work. Once the excess ley line energy dissipates from the air, we should be able to make an announcement for residents to resume their normal activities. This is the stipulated reward. Please accept it. What did we get? Paimon uh, takes you to a quiet place. Is Karkata going to be sent back to the academia? It's already damaged, but Paimon feels sad thinking about it getting disassembled. Me too. Oh, then how about we find Kainari tomorrow and ask him not to do that? Paimon really wants to go right now, but Kainari said that we would discuss matters tomorrow. We'll probably make him mad if we go now, huh? Probably. Right, then we'll find Kainari tomorrow and tell him not to disassemble Karkata. I already have. Wait until 8 to 12 the next day. Good enough. Very good enough. Okay. Well, we should go find Kainari. Um, how do you think we should ask him? Okay. Oh, he's at this place. The place he likes to be at. Keep your voice down. The Lilac Daphne, a Daphne of the genus Thamiliaceae, has a strong anti-convulsant effect. It can also be made into an anesthetic powder. Extrapolating from these two data sets, it would be particularly potent against Piscine species. Hey, make sure you're getting all this down. Karkata? <laughs> I thought I told you all to keep your voices low. Plants aren't afraid of noise, but your shouting is making my yeah, ears Paimon. ring. Yeah, Paimon. Be quiet, Paimon. <sighs> you, you didn't disassemble Karkata. Why uh, would I do that? But Paimon thought you said, according to the academia's policies. So that's why you two barged in like barbarians at this hour. Fine. What's Paimon I doing? I suppose I wasn't clear enough about this yesterday. What I meant was, according to the academe, anyway, the, you said back to the was first thing to... I did was repair Karkata. During my time at the academia, I took an elective course at the Spontamod, <laughs> who knew it would prove useful one day. We then buried Abitui together. After organizing the research materials, I kept some as a souvenir. 
Most of it was burned to hide the evidence. I'm not with the Academia, so what do their policies have to do with me? On the other hand, I am the Forest Watcher of the Avidia Forest. I have a duty to protect all life in the forest. All life brought forth in this world has meaning, and Karkata is no exception. If it exists, then it shouldn't be carelessly abandoned or destroyed. <laughs> That's great! Wait, you just said life form. You recognize Karkata as a true living being now? The possibility exists, is all. It's hard to explain Karkata's efforts to repair Abitui. Abitui only left behind a small portion of his research. Who knows how many commands he installed? Maybe a conflict between all those commands resulted in this sort of behavior. From a more rigorous perspective, it is impossible to conclude that Karkata is a real life form. But the possibility exists. I am willing to believe in that. Uh, by the way, I'm not interested in continuing research on this subject. I'm just letting it hang out here because this place is relatively secluded. But as things stand now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make it my research assistant. At the very least, it can record my experiments. What do you think? <laughs> And there's that. Wait, does that count as completing commissions too? Ah, I guess it does. Can I talk to Tainari? When people at the Academia included me in a group photo, they would also send me a copy. I have zero interest in group photos, but I also wouldn't just throw them away. I stored them all in a box. After coming back yesterday, I looked through them and found one with Abitui. I gave it to Karkata and it seemed happy. <laughs> That's good enough. Is that all he's gonna say? Hey, let's look at the photo. Huh. One of the mini group photos. I know you always have the same expression and doesn't seem to be interested in taking photos. When people at the academia include I have zero interest after Okay, it's just gonna say the same thing. Okay. Hey look, Tainari. Hey. I try to make him look younger. Oh something in the battle pass. Through me, justice Fuck. is served. Guilty. Your penance is due. <laughs> That's when I hit E, but he's stay condemned. Three times. Four times. I'm put Tainari back with Cho Youngest. Let's go gather some samples. Okay. Let's go to the Adventures Guild real quick, claim the commissions, and then, yeah. Add Astro. Thank you for com. There we go. Oh, I got two here. Oh, these are story quests. What was this one that's not? Power of Hydro. Ah. <laughs> okay.
luck can swing the results of a single game. I'm in here. But it's bound to run out sooner or later. I'll see y'all later. I guess I'm used to uh, having it already ready. But yes, I'm ending. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching, everyone.